Hello everybody, welcome back to Domination Reading Channel Farm Simulator starting from scratch. This is going to be our final episode. That's right guys, we have hit the point in the game where I think it's time to move on and do something else. But, we're going to have a banger last episode. This is going to be fun, we're going to do some stuff, and it's going to be a good stream. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'd also like to welcome you guys here. Thank you for being around. Thank you for hanging out. It is really cool. So it is now November 5th. We're actually going to go ahead and uh, sell some canola and make a little bit of cash. And then we're going to end the stream happily today. Not yet though. It'll be a few hours. Because <laughs> we all love this game. The game is pretty amazing. And I want to keep playing. Hey River, how you doing? Welcome back. Nice to see ya. There we go. Honey looks good. Hey, Rebel, how you doing? That's Cindy with an S or a C. Welcome back. It's nice to see you. I hope you're liking the Discord channel. we got a lot of cool people in there. I'm sure you've noticed. Trying to get more people, the more the merrier, right? Clary, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. How's it going today? They're like, no, don't go. Yep, you guys, this is going to be the last episode of the stream. Um, we've been playing this game for 330 hours. We're on episode number... Let me see what number it is. Episode number 68, and I think it's just time that we do something different. Uh, the farm looks great. I had a good time. We've learned a lot, and uh, that's the bad news. But that's not, not all the news, and certainly not the good news, right? So I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to keep it saved. So that, just in case, let's just say we, we do something else, and we're like, uh, let's come back later. Yeah, I'm Michael. Yep. And let's just say we're like, uh, we really missed this solo stream. We missed the starting from scratch stream. Let, let's do this again. You know, the game will still be here. It'll still be saved. I'll still have all this stuff ready to sell. I'll still have everything inside the barn ready to sell. Okay, let's go take a look at all the stuff. You know, we're not, we're not deleting it, okay? It's just we've been playing this game for months, and I just want to do something different now. We got all the cotton saved up. So, yeah, we're, gonna, we're not going to delete the game. But... But it is time to do something new, okay? So in honor of all the work that we've been putting into this farm and all the stuff that we've been doing, I'm going to go sell the canola because it is November, so we'll go sell all that. And then we're going to go ahead and um, fast forward the game until the trees are mature. Because, come on, we had these trees growing for months now. We want to see what these trees are when they're bigger, and then we want to chop them all down. <laughs> so basically that's what we're going to be doing this stream, okay? We're going to be um, selling our canola, and then we're going to mature these trees, and then we're going to come in with a great big giant machinery, and we're going to cut them all down and have a bunch of fun. Sounds like fun. Can't wait to see what we do next. Oh, I know what we're going to do next. I just haven't announced it yet. I know exactly what we're going to do next. I got some plans. I got some good plans for what we're going to do next. All right, let's get the, um, here we go. Let's get this back to the farm. Let's fold our little, this is going to get rid of all the weeds. So that way our field isn't covered in weeds anymore. You're sad that's the final episode, but excited for the next game? That's cool, River. That's cool. I'm glad you had such a good time. I mean, seriously, we've been playing this this uh, stream right now, uh, starting from scratch. We've been playing it for months. 330 hours. That's a lot of time to play, you know, one thing. But the good news is, is that we're going to start something new. And I think you guys are really, really going to like it, okay? Aussie75, hey, buddy. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing good today. So, it, it's going to be great. And I, I really think you're going to enjoy it. We're going to do something similar to starting from scratch. So, basically, you guys all know that tomorrow we're going to start the multiplayer, right? The multiplayer is going to be fun, and we're going to spend, like, maybe a week playing multiplayer, okay? Um, and what that means is that we're not going to do our nightly stream for so long. We're still going to do the nightly stream. We're still going to start the nightly stream at the same time. But it's not going to be a long three-hour or two-and-a-half-hour stream like normal, okay? Because what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to be streaming throughout the day for an hour here, an hour there, probably like 10 times a day, an hour every time. So that way we can jump on the multiplayer and see what everybody's doing and how everybody's having fun, and we'll get a good idea how the multiplayer is going, okay? So that's first. So you guys are going to get a lot of streams out of me for the weekend. It's going to be a lot of stuff happening, and I can't get to hear the cars in the way. Oh, I made it. Haha, <laughs> stupid car. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, you guys are going to get a lot of streams this weekend, okay? Starting tomorrow at noon central, okay? Tomorrow at noon central. That's basically in um, 17 and a half hours from now. 
So starting in 17 and a half hours from now, we're going to do an hour stream many times. That's pretty exciting to me. That's why I keep repeating it. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I've also made some decisions on how it's going to work. Um, we're going to play on the, uh, the little map, on the small map. And I'm going to, instead of everybody having $100,000, everybody's going to have $500,000. I just think it would be super fun, super fun to play on a small map where everybody has a bunch of money so everybody can be buying equipment and just doing whatever they want but having a boatload of cash. Doesn't that just sound like fun? Especially if like 9 or 10 people, we can have up to 16, but if we only have like 9 or 10 and everybody has money, woo-wee! You're going to see all kinds of stuff happening. You're going to see barns, you're going to see animals, you're going to see tractors, you're going to see all kinds of stuff on a little tiny map. I don't know, that sounds like chaos to me. It sounds like a, a mix for a, a very good time and a lot of chaos. I mean, if you got a lot of money and a little bit of space, come on now, right? <laughs> So I'm sure some people will spend all the money to buy land. Other people will spend, like, probably no money to buy land, just buy other stuff with it. Who knows what people are going to do. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So the multiplayer starts tomorrow. Other than that, for the game itself, like I said, this is going to be the last episode of um, starting from scratch. Uh, I like starting from scratch, though. So, big announcement. What we're going to do, and feel free to let other people know if they ask, and I don't see it because I don't want to say this like a thousand times because I'm sure you guys are going to hear what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, this is what we're doing. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start on a big map, like a big nice map, like the, the, um, the European map, where there's like lots of hills and mountains and rivers and stuff. Hey, <laughs> river. And uh, what we're going to do is... Oop, let me edge this. What we're going to do is not a starting from scratch stream, but a vintage stream. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna have like not much money. We're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna still play on hard. Okay, it's still gonna be hard. But we're, we're gonna start out with the same money we started this game with. So not a whole bunch of money. Okay, that's gonna be tough on us. And on top of that, all the equipment we use is gonna be old school and vintage equipment. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Like, I don't know. Like the old school tractors, like the old school plows. It's gonna be very hard. It's going to be hard, for sure. But we'll have a new map with new scenery. And just, I don't know, I want to play just vintage. I want to be like it's 1920s farming. And, and having the old machinery. I don't even know if we can do it. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do it. I'm going to try, though. Uh, sounds like a lot of money. Wish you could play if you if only had PC. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. It's tough. This game is super fun. This game is super, super fun. All right. So yeah, I, I think that is. What do you guys think about that? Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. I just think a Farm Simulator 22 vintage mode would be something great. Um, I do plan on having animals. And actually, that's the really good news that you guys uh, might really get happy about. Is uh, we're going to start. The very first thing we're going to do, okay, is probably cows. Because we're going to have enough money to put cows down right away. So we, we might do cows. Not a big cow barn, but just a little cow barn. Just something little to get us started. And then um, I think my main thing I'm going to do, the main goal of being a vintage farmer, is I, and since inspired by the fact that we're going to be on the German map, or uh, European map anyway, I think I want to be a chocolate farmer. I think I want to be a chocolate farmer. I think I want to do cows, have the milk, do some sugar cane, mix the milk and the sugar, and, and sell chocolate. Hey, Skull Dog, welcome back to another stream, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see ya. You made it down for the last, the very last, starting from scratch stream. This is episode number 68, final episode. So good job. You made it in time. You get to see what's happening and hear all the news of what's going to be happening next. So yeah, I know it's a little sad. We've played this for 68 episodes, 330 hours, but it's, it's just, it's time. It's time to move on. And the reason I got to that is because of the fact that I've, I'm just fast forwarding so much now. Like, we'll play one day of the month, and then we just fast-forward the whole rest of the month. And now it's almost to the point where I feel like fast-forwarding to two months or three months, you know? So that just means, you know, that's just logically, it just means that we got to do something new. You know, we, we got we to gotta move on. We got to advance. We got to grow. We got to try something else. And I think being a, a chocolate farmer on a, on a European map, I think that sounds exciting. And maybe it won't work. Maybe we'll get sick of it quick and not like it, and we'll come back to this farm. You never know. 
You never know. It might be the plan. We'll see. But uh, anyway, so that's all the, the news, the good and the bad. And I think there's more good news than bad. I mean, even just stopping the stream isn't a bad thing. I mean, we had a great time for months. And we'll, we'll, now we'll just we'll try something else. We'll just try something else. All right, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and finish off this stream today. Not right now, of course, because we just started. But we're going to play this stream all day. I mean, for the, for the time period. And then what I'm going to do is uh, get ready for tomorrow. So what we're going to do today, if you didn't hear at the beginning of the stream, we got canola to go sell. So we're going to go sell our canola. And we have all these trees over here that are about ready to be harvested, but they're just not quite there yet. So we're going to fast forward the, gana the game. We're going to fast forward the game. Hey, guys, the game needs fast forwarded. <laughs> we're going to fast forward the game, and we're going to take care of those trees. I mean, we just we, we deserve to cut down those trees. After as long as I've had them growing and as much as we've checked on them and all the problems that we've had with trees in the past, we deserve to have a stream where we take out all those trees, right? I think it's going to be a good time. Other than that, how's everybody doing today? You guys having a good day? It's a beautiful day for me. Not outside. I mean, it's 30 degrees. It's, it's actually 32 degrees out. The exact temperature of freezing. So, um, not so beautiful. <laughs> not so beautiful. We're having fun playing our game. It's a fun game. <laughs> so, yeah. Other than that, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting down all the silage so that we can see the field because all this stuff is just in the way. It just looks like, ugh. Ugh. Can't see what I'm doing. And if we're going to be taking down the trees, I want to see what I'm doing, of course. Of course we do. Of course we want to see all the goodness of what we're doing. The awesomeness of this game. It's a very fun game. My cats are playing on the sofa. You guys might be able to hear them in the background. Wow. <laughs> uh, you're doing great. You're new here and meeting new friends. Uh, Rebel, that is something for sure about this uh, community. You should have a lot of fun. Um, and I mean that in, in the way of there are so many good people on this stream that show up for Percy Jackson and for Rick and not so much for the games. I'm not like a big popular gamer, but I do game every day. And so we are starting to build a little bit of following of people that are here for the games, which is awesome, by the way, because this channel used to be a gaming channel. Um, I just stopped it from being, being a gaming channel because just people didn't care enough. And after like a, two years of being a gaming channel, I only had like 30 subs. <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, this is time for a change. So that's when I started getting um, permission to read books and reading books. And ever since then, the cha channel's just, like, taken off. So that's a good thing. Vaxi, hey, Vaxi, how you doing today, buddy? Good to see you, and welcome back. Yeah, it's the last stream, Vaxi, the last stream for starting from scratch. And then we're going to do something different. Uh, you just finished last Olympian last week? What a great book. I like the last Olympian a lot. Good taste there, good taste. So, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, sell our canola. We'll just go ahead and drive over here, and then uh, we're going to, after we're done selling the canola, we're going to fast forward the game until the trees are ready, and then we're going to take out all those trees, because that just seems like a lot of fun. That seems like a lot of fun. But where's my stuff at? Here it is. Where's my Jaden trailer at, by the way? Do you guys know where my Jaden trailer's at at? The big green trailer? Oh, I know where it's at. I know where it's at. It's put away. Look at me. Actually, putting my toys away. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? My parents would never believe it. They're like, really? You did? You, you put something away when you were done using it? That's craziness. <laughs> That's crazy. What? That, we don't believe it. Who took our son and uh, who traded him out with this person who actually does stuff responsibly kind of sometimes? Your class is currently reading the Red Pyramid, and you love how I read it. Thank you. Um, good news. The, um, the the Burning Throne, is that what it is? That's the second book of the uh, the Cain Chronicles? That's next on our list. So if you guys like the Red Pyramid, book number two is next, once I'm done with Daughter of the Deep. So get excited about that. You get to hear more about Sadie. You get to hear more about Carter. You get to hear more about all kinds of good stuff. Told you guys it was coming. Told you. And now you get to now you get to experience it. Let's see. Um You have to go now, you have to eat dinner. Bye, thanks for the stream. It's great having you. Well, thanks for being here, Rebel. Um Cindy, thanks for being here, Cindy. I hope you come back again soon. It was nice having you. 
You were very active in the chat, and it was just a cool time having you around. So come back again soon. Yeah, everybody, Throne of Fire! Throne of Fire is next! Just gotta listen to Daughter of the Deep with me, so I know you guys like it. And then we do Throne of Fire. Alright. Good times. I mean, I've been having so many requests for it. Let's do it. Let's just get it, get it in there. Happy times. Okay, let's load up all the canola. Now, this canola, we never harvested this canola. This is from us doing other jobs and what was left over. So, we just put it in our silo because it was left over. <laughs> now, we're going to go sell it. And we're going to get free money from selling other people's, other people's canola. By the way, thanks, AI farmers, for... Uh, <laughs> thanks for not noticing. I was skimming a little bit off the top. And by a little bit, I mean... Um, Looks like 7,000 liters. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, look, <laughs> we got all this free canola. Oh, goodness. Where does this even sell at? I don't even know where to sell it at. Canola. It sells at... It looks like the farmer's market. Nope. The feeding grain south. Nope. The Germans. Let's give it to the Germans. Right, um, actually, let's see if the Germans want it, because I'm not even sure they want it. Um, let me give them a quick call. Here's the number right here, 555 Schnitzel. Let's, let's give them a call. All right, yeah, this is them. Come on, come on, pick up. Hello! Can we help you? Oh, hi. Um, are these the Germans? Yes, this is the Germans. Why do you think we have this outrageous accent? Okay, okay, okay. I'm just, just making sure, you know? I don't, I don't call you guys that often. Oh, yes, you do. We know you call us and we like it. You're our favorite customer. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we like it. You want to bring us more stuff today? Uh, yeah. Actually, I got some canola. Are you guys interested? Yeah, that's is good. Then we like canola. You bring it by. All right, I'll bring it by. Um, is there anything else you guys want, or is it just the canola this time? Nine, nine. We are happy with that canola. All right. Well, I'm gonna bring it. Thanks for your um, guys always being there. I appreciate it. Oh, nine, nine, nine. It's thanks for you. Maybe you stop by to get some schnitzel too. Um, uh, not today. I'm really busy. Got a lot of stuff on the farm that needs to be done. Oh, that's is good. Then that is good. Then okay. We we'll see you soon. Bye now. Uh, okay, okay. All right, ta-ta. Okay, sounds good, guys. I think the Germans, um, they seem to be pretty excited about canola. So we'll get this out there, and uh, we'll get them some canola, and maybe they'll give some good prices on it. Uh, you're waiting for me to finish before you listen to Daughter of the Deep? Okay. Well, as long as you're listening and having a good time, that's what it's all about, right? Can you do a Khufu impression? Um, I don't remember what Khufu sounds like. So I can't do the impression right now, but uh, if it's um something I can do, yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> All right, canola. I, I'm just really curious to see how much I, money I get for selling free product. You know, stuff that you know they I got from doing contracts. Just stuff. I how much money can I make skimming off the top? You know. And it would have been more, but I messed up and I didn't, I didn't have more to get. Let's go ahead and give it. All right, let's see. Dump it out. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we made we made seventeen thousand dollars off of overload, off of canola that we got from doing other jobs, not doing ourselves. <laughs> That's awesome. Free money, baby. Free money's for me. I like it. Woohoo! Oh oh. <laughs> Sorry, grape tractor. <laughs> I forgot you were there. <laughs> we just nailed our tractor. <laughs> That's it. I'm suing myself. <laughs> I hit that thing going top speed. <laughs> All right, let's just say, let's just say, oops. Okay, oops. <laughs> Mistakes were made, guys. Mistakes were made. What's what's happening with our honey? What's happening with our honey? Why is it piling up and piling up awkward? Alright, we'll just get rid of this now. That's not even It's not even supposed to have another one ready, but hey, that's cool. If it's ready, it's ready. I can't argue with those results. Yeah, oof, oof is right. 
Who parked that tractor there anyway? Who did that? Who parks a tractor inside of the grapes like it belongs there? It's not a... <laughs> Oops. Teenager. I'll tell you, it's teenagers. That's who did it. Those teenagers are up to it again. You guys all know how teenagers are. You got a little pyramid of honey. That's a lot of honey, too, by the way. Holy crap. Is someone on the grape tractor's number plate yet? Um, yes, Scotty's on the grape tractor. Hey, Firo Chase Lover, how you doing? And you guys, that's good news for everybody, too. Since this is going to be my last episode of Starting From Scratch, we're going to start a new map, and we're going to have all new machinery with all new license plates. So you guys, everyone's going to have a chance to be on new machinery. How exciting is that? When are you doing your stream of Saturday? All, I'm going to be doing streaming all day, Friday, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday. Hey, just got back from guitar lessons. How's the farm? Cyan Cuber, you made it at a good time. Um, actually, this I'm going to go ahead and give the announcement again because it looks like there's a bunch of new people. Fiero, Cyan, Vaxi. Um, this is the last stream, guys. I, I decided today that this is going to be my last stream of Farm Simulator 22 starting from scratch. Reason being is just because um, I'm spending too many days fast-forwarding now, and we're spending too many days just kind of just going through the motions now. Yeah, we're getting stuff done, but it just feels like it's time to move on. Um, I like it a lot. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm not going to delete it, but we're going to go to a new project now. Uh, we've been playing this game for, um, what, s uh, months now? 330 hours? It's been a lot of fun. But it's, it's time to do something else. This weekend, we're going to be doing multiplayer. And then after we're done with multiplayer, or after I buy a server so we can play multiplayer also, we're going to be starting a new series. Yep, the title says final. Definitely the last title. Um, so anyways, this is going to be the last episode of starting from scratch. But I think we had a good run. I think we had a good time. We learned a lot. We accomplished a lot. We had a lot of fun. I see things that I wouldn't do next time and things that I would do next time. Uh, so I, I think it's, it was a good experience, and I had a great time and a great journey with you guys, and now it's just, it's just time to do something else. Uh, so that being said, we're going to spend the rest of this stream, of course, fast-forwarding, which we've been doing a lot of, and we're going to mature all of these trees, and then we're going to rent some equipment to cut them down and harvest them. Right? And we might as well because uh, we've, we've been working on these trees for so long. I want to harvest them. I want to see what, what the machines work when they work properly and just how fun it is. You got to go. We have lunch. Oh, hey, Vax, see when you come back. Skulldog says I got to go. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, Skulldog, come on back soon. It's our last stream. We want you guys here. Hey, Michael, bring back your morning streams, kitty streams, and Anna Banana Waffle videos. Uh, Fiero, I might start doing some of those again. I'll see if they get any attention. But they, they have not gotten much attention, so I really haven't been into doing it. But... You know, maybe. We'll, we'll see what happens. You guys should be out of food by now. Oh, no, they got a little bit left. They got a little bit left. But let's just go ahead and pull these out. I mean, there's no real reason to do this, but why not? Because if we don't ever come back to this, to this, uh, this farm, it don't matter. But if we do, at least they'll be on the side where, you know, we need them. So, I mean, I'm not saying I'll never play this again. But you never know. We might have so much fun on the new project that we don't come back. Uh, wow, people are leaving already. I know. Sad, huh? Sad. People leaving already. I don't like it. I want people to stay and hang out. All right, so let's go ahead and fast forward. We'll fast forward into December. And December brings what? December brings hay and canola. No, wheat. We could sell all of our wheat if we want. I don't have a lot of wheat. So there's no real use in doing that. Um, these still are not big enough yet. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward again. Yeah, sad face, people leaving. I agree. I want people to hang out. But people will come. You guys know when I start the stream at this time, it's uh, I start at 6.30 my time. We usually pick up a few people around 7, 7.30, and then it gets quiet till about 8.00. 8.30, and then it just picks up really heavy. So we'll see. We'll see. Bring back your book character scammer vids. Uh, Firo, I try pretty much every day to do that. Every day. I had six scammer calls today. They were really on the ball today. Like, they really wanted to get me today. It was really annoying, actually. But all six of them either were 
um, telemarketers that hung up right away, or people that heard me say, Hello, how are you on this blessed day? And they'd hang up. And then the other ones, I didn't even get that far. I would just answer, and they hang up right away. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But I try. I try every day. Uh, what happened to those videos where you were building houses? Um, we, we beat the game. We finished it. There was no more houses to build. We actually played until we completed the game. Hey, Super Snipes, how you doing, buddy? Welcome back. Nice to see you. You just missed the big announcements twice. But I'm glad you made it back. Um, but the good news, guys, the good news about this being my last episode is that we can start a new project, right? We can start a new project. All right? And I already know what the new project is going to be. So I got some good news. <laughs> And I'm going to give the announcement about the multiplayer again and what decisions I made because there's some big decisions after some of the people that are going to play multiplayer come in because right now there's not really anybody in here that's going to play multiplayer, I don't think. But once people start showing up for that, I'll tell you guys about that. So anyways, the news. You guys want the news. This is the last episode of the stream, the last episode of starting from scratch. And after multiplayer, what we're going to do is we're going to start again on a big map, a big, nice um, European map, where there's lots of hills and valleys and streams and a lot of beauty, okay? Um, maybe um, Bear Loot or something like that, whatever it's called. And what we're going to do for that gameplay, we're going to start over at episode number one, and it's going to be called Vintage Gameplay. So, it's you thought it was hard doing this one? It's going to be much harder doing Vintage Gameplay, okay? So we're still going to start on hard, so we're still going to have low amount of money. There you go, the tree's matured. We're, uh, we're going to start with a low amount of money, okay? We're going to start off with no land. We're going to start off with no equipment and a, ba and a bank loan, just like we did this one, okay? But the caveat is the only machines we're going to rent or uh, rent or buy are going to be vintage. So they're going to be old school, like 1920s and 1930s, if I can find enough of them in mods and stuff to do that. And uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to start over again. Also, we have a goal. We have a focused goal. We're going to go to a European map, and we're going to be chocolate farmers! Yeah, buddy! We're going to go into the chocolate business. We're going to raise cows, we're going to make milk, we're going to do sugar cane fields, we're going to have sugar, we're going to have a factory, we're going to mix the sugar and the, and the milk together, and we're going to make chocolate and cheese. That's right, we're going to be a cheese and chocolate farmer. I'm excited about that because those are some of my two favorite things, are cheeses and chocolates. So we're going to do cheese and chocolate, everybody. Get excited about that. And that's going to be my vintage cheese and chocolate gameplay. Old school like me? Oh, your glasses must be really, really need to be changed now. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and um, get our tree cutter downers. Uh, where are they? Forestry. And it really doesn't matter which one we use because they're all the same. Um, I mean, they are all the same. I mean, we might just go with the John Deere. 168 horsepower. I mean, I really don't think it matters which one we use. I kind of like this John Deere, though. It looks kind of nice, doesn't it? You guys like the John Deere? <laughs> Science says, oh, I know. Oh, we're going to cut down trees, not burn. So let's go ahead and rent the big old John Deere. I mean, I think that's the one. The yellow one's kind of cool, too. So is the blue one. That one looks kind of nice, too. We're going with the John Deere, just because, you know, we, we've had so much good luck and happiness from John Deere tractors. What is this one, though? Ooh, that's a beast. That's a beast right there. How are my kitties? My kitties are doing good. Um, I scared them a minute ago. I don't know how. Oh, I ran to the kitchen to uh, make sure my stove was off. And I scared my kitties. And then I stopped to see if they're okay. And I never um, came back. Or I never went back to make sure my stove was off. So... That just reminded me, give me one quick second and I will go see if my stove is off because I don't want my stove to be on while I'm doing a two and a half hour stream. I'll be right back.
right, everybody, good news. Good news, I did not burn the house down. My stove was off, so I must have hit it and then forgot I hit it, but I'd rather forget it's off than forget it's on. So, right, right? That's pretty good logic. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's go ahead and rent ourselves a John Deere, and let's go take down some trees. And uh, also, also, we're going to get a mulcher, too. So let's lease this. All right, and then let's, uh, let's lease a mulcher so we can turn it into scrap forestry equipment, right? Or we can turn it into wood chips. Is that this big boy right here? Yep, I think it's this bad boy right here. This one's got a crane on it, which means you're going to have to lift up the wood. And I think you can just drop it in right here, right? And then what happens? It shoots out the back? I don't know if I even need this, right? But let's just do it anyway. <laughs> why Why not? <laughs> Let's do it anyway. You don't need to have a reason. You don't need to have a reason. Smoke cheese? We're going to have uh, chocolate cheese. <laughs> um, where is Hair Eater? Is he in here yet? No, Jaden's not here yet. <laughs> no, it wasn't Jaden, was it? Hey, Vaxi, welcome back. It wasn't Jaden. Was it Jaden? Who, who was eating hair yesterday that I kept telling him to stop eating hair? I wonder if this can actually pull... Yeah, uh, that look. Oh, this thing is freaking giant. We have to. We're gonna have to go get our truck, guys. We're gonna have to go get our brand new awesome semi truck because it's this tractor isn't gonna be able to pull that. This tractor's actually kind of little compared to that. Let's get this back to the farm, though. Um. Okay, I was wondering what it was doing. There it goes. Okay, that's the head right there. Alright, how do you get this to work? Alright, so this goes forward and backwards. This goes left and right. This goes up and down. How do you open up the jaws? Or are they considered open? That might be considered open. Oh, I'm excited. I want to get this to the farm and go take down some trees. Yeah! You think it was him? It might have been Jaden. It, so it, it sounds like it could have been Jaden. <laughs> Jaden's a pretty funny dude. All right. It's slow. Why is it only nine miles an hour? Holy crud. John Deere, you can't make a faster tractor? For uh, for trees, what is this? Why are we only going? I can run, f I can walk faster. I literally here. Watch, 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 guys. Look, I run faster than this tractor is going. Look, I'm I'm lifting and and running with the tractor faster, <laughs> faster than the tractor goes. Look at this. Why do we run faster than the tractor drives? Look at this is ridiculous. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> this, should, this shouldn't be a thing. Look, let's get farther back. <laughs> Why? Why? I know that lifting something up with super strength is not part of the game, right? But my speed hasn't been altered. I run at the normal speed of the game that you run with. My normal running speed is faster than the normal driving speed of this tractor. How does that make any sense? <laughs> I didn't crash. I, I threw. <laughs> um, if you have not been asked yet, what have you had for dinner? Oh, oh, you're first asking that today, Snipes. Uh, today I had another um, breaded chicken breast. But this time, instead of being stuffed with broccoli and cheese... It was stuffed with ham and cheese, and that's called a chicken cordon bleu. Or, um, if you were in the military, in the military we call them hamsters. So if anyone ever says, hey, I'm eating a hamster, chances are they're not eating the little fuzzy rodents. Chances are they're eating a breaded chicken breast covered or stuffed with ham and cheese.
So I had a delicious hamster today. Really hit the spot. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good I want another one. I'm not going to. One a day is enough because, you know, I want to keep my slim girlish figure. And I can't do that if I eat more, multiple hamsters a day. I wonder how many people in history have ever said, I'm not going to eat multiple hamsters today because I'm trying to keep my slim girlish figure. I'm probably, I would say, one of the only people ever to say that in that sentence before. <laughs> I don't even know where I come up with some of the things I come up with, guys. I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm inspired by the awesomeness of my community. Listening to you guys talk and seeing the things that you guys talk about on Discord, it just inspires me to, uh, to come up with new stuff. Because <laughs> you guys are awesome. Well, I almost got hit by a car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you guys haven't joined the Discord, um, we got new people that just joined. Uh, the Discord is awesome. If you guys have not joined the Discord, I definitely suggest you go ahead and get in there. Um, if anybody wants to post a link to the Discord, I would appreciate it. But it's been it's been hopping. It gets a little bit quiet in the morning because there's not many people on. But like for the last couple hours, it's been jumping like nonstop with lots of people having conversations. And you guys are all really great, awesome people. Like I have such a good time talking to you guys and hearing what you guys are talking about. It's pretty nice. Super nice says. Haha, <laughs> Slim Girl, I agree with that. <laughs> Let's see if I can flip this boy back over. Oh, yeah! That's how you do it. Let's go nine miles an hour. Let's do this. Woo! Let's get that nine miles an hour. Maybe I can put... Oh, I can push it to ten, maybe? <laughs> maybe I can push it to ten. We're really moving now. Cutting down trees in the snow. That's what you want to do. Why is it so slow? All right, we're also going to go ahead and bring the uh, the truck, our new truck down with the trailer, and we're going to haul the um, the wood chipper up here with us so we can do both of them. Oh, you met her today when she joined? Yeah, she seems pretty cool. Good attitude, lots to say. Like sirens. We had a lot of awesome people in the Discord, seriously. If we can get more people in there, that would be cool too. It seems like every day lately people have been joining, and I appreciate that a lot. Especially because people go to that Discord for a reason. They're not just like, oh, it's a Discord of people. No, they go there because of the books of Percy Jackson, of Sadie and, Kay or Sadie and Carter. They go there some for the gaming. Like, there's a million Discord channels that are just there. Just because somebody opened it and people are like, okay, now I want people to come talk. But um, to, to actually have a channel like mine where you go there for a reason... That means that it's a it's a like a like cause where there's people are coming for this reason. So chances of you getting trolls in there are very very low. The chances of you getting people that have the same interests of you are what the channel is all about. So you're gonna be able to meet lots of people that like Percy Jackson books and lots of people that like you know the Kane Chronicles, lots of people that like Magnus Chase books, and that that makes it feel really good, really comfortable. Because I've joined plenty of rooms where it's just hey somebody come check out this room, so I come check it out and it's like okay. I'd rather hang out, and, and you'll get, find trolls, and you'll find just s stupid stuff. But at least the Percy Jackson channel, it's even called Camp Half-Blood. You're going to meet, you know, people that like the same things you like. And that that's just awesome to me. All right, so let's get this here. Now, remember, we've never grown pine trees or spruce, and these are the only two trees still after two months of the game being released that have been coded. So these are the only two things that work right now. It's really unusual and awkward that they released a game where 10 trees aren't coded. Uh, I joined to bully you. That's why I joined. You know what, Super Snipes? I believe it, okay? I believe it. I, I see that from you. <laughs> right, where's our truck at? There it is. Let's go ahead and drop the uh, milk trailer, our awesome milk trailer, and bring the truck down. Now, we went from going 90 or 9 miles an hour. This one can go 86 miles an hour. Let's see the difference. What's the difference between 9 and 86? <laughs> might, might be a little bit. Especially when it comes to stopping and turning. Oh, it steers really well, though. Like, we just took that turn going almost 40 or 48 miles an hour. It didn't seem like it was hard at all. It seemed like it was pretty smooth. 
Yeah, it, it is pretty smooth because normally if you go fast at all in a vehicle, you wobble all over the road and you like try to autocorrect and you flip over. This is actually pretty smooth, and we're going 87 miles an hour. Woo! Hit a bolt or hit a a barrel. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Ah! Oh, came to a dead stop in a tree. So apparently, um. I'm going to not blame that on my driving skills. I'm going to blame that on, um, um, what can we blame that? Snow! Snow! There was snow in, oh, it was behind me. There was snow in, in my mud flaps. There was snow in my mud flaps, because see, there's mud flaps on there. There was a lot of snow in my mud flaps right there. And, uh, yeah, Calypso truck is fast. Like, look how quick we're going. It's also got 1,200 horsepower, so that's pretty impressive. Really impressive, actually. Yeah, well, it's not only a um, Rick Riordan verse, but most of the people that go there are for those books. And I can see why. They're amazing. I love reading them. But it, it's, a co it's a common bond that everybody in the room usually shares. All right, why didn't it pick it up? Try. Maybe I wasn't lined up enough. Still. Okay, let's try it again. Third time's a charm. This one, the wheels also autocorrect. Not autocorrect, but they, when you're driving and you have them turned, if you go forwards or backwards, they kind of straighten out, which is cool. That's not usual either. That's one of the reasons I have a problem driving in a game, because the wheels don't change. Why isn't... Okay. That got it. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to go through the field this time because I'm going to try and get some air. Let's see if we can get this whole thing off the ground. He blames his tools. I didn't blame my tools. I blamed the snow being in the uh, mud flaps. It wasn't the tool's fault. It was the mud flaps or the, the snow's fault. All right, I'm going to go through the field because I'm going to try and get some air. I'm going to try and get as much speed as I can, and we're going to hit the highway and see if we can, like, make this thing hop. I want to see if I can get the truck and the wood chipper to hop, okay? Ready? Come on, we need more speed. We're at 52. We can go to 86 or 87 even. Let's go. Let's get the speed. Ready? Uh, here we go. And do it. Jump. Woo. I think it did. I think it did, but we can do better. Oh, we can do much better than that. That was nothing. Let's get this going. Down the highway. All right, let's do it. I know another good jump spot, too. That wasn't very impressive. We could have done better. We need more speed. More power! Oh, 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 oh. The only one encounter of something bad in the server is... Hmm. <laughs> There's been a lot of them. I just don't always let you guys know about it. I usually head it off early at the pass, but sometimes you just don't get that opportunity. You get tricked. It's all good, though. Here we go. Uh, uh. I think that was it, right? Is that air? This is air right here, right? Give us some air. Woo! That was definitely air. Hold on, let's go back. We're going to try and get another one. Hold on a second. Let's get this going. I want some air off that. Woo! -hoo -hoo, look at that! We're drifting! We're drifting! <laughs> I didn't know you could get this to drift. That was cool. Hold on, I need to get more speed. I think it's because of all the snow that we were able to drift right there. All right, let's get a good run. Then we're going to jump that lake. Ready? It's going to be lake jumps a lot. Let's do it. I'm going to try and hit straight on. Oh, no, there's a car that's going to hit me. Bet me that car is... They put that car right so it's going to hit me. See that? I told you guys before that... See? I told you guys before that's what they do. Um, they spawn vehicles at intersection points. Like, if you're heading towards the road, they spawn a vehicle. So that way the vehicle will hit you when you get to the road. Now, you notice there's no other vehicles? That was the only vehicle? That's because the game does it intentional. It just happens to hit you at the road. So that, that's one of the uh, mechanics of the game. I, it's weird. It's really weird. But it's what they do. But we've proved that they do that multiple times. Like, where's there any more vehicles? Why are there no more vehicles? And why the one vehicle just happened to meet me at the exact same spot on the road where we'd crash? It's pretty funny. I'm a big kid? Yeah, I know. I know. All right, let's do it. We got some speed. 50. 60. Boom! Oh, that was weak! It won't be weak up here. Let's do it again. Ready? Let's do it right here. Uh, uh. Oh, it is weak. Come on. It all weighs too much. It just weighs too much. But that's okay. 
It's okay. We did what we could. We did what we could. All right, let's get this back. Boof. Dodging trees. All right, let's go ahead and get these trees taken down because I've been really excited for months to do these trees. And now we finally get to do them. Oh, buddy. We're going to park this right by the wood chips so that way we can deposit it right into the wood chips. Where is it? Where's our wood chips at? Where'd our wood chips go? Oh, I can't see it. It's on the other side of the trees. I was like, wait a minute. I know I have a wood chip pile somewhere, but it's, it's all the way over here. So we're going to go ahead and just put our wood chips here. Is this going to get it in there? Oh, it's the wrong side. I think it's going to come out the front, right? Hold on. Let's see what pipe out does. Yep. It, oh, it's cool. It's going to be a, it is a pipe, an actual pipe this time. So hold on. Hold on, let's go around. That's cool, I like that a lot. So we don't have to be like lined up on it or anything anymore. What's happening? What am I stuck on? Oh, since the uh, pipe is out, it put the brakes down so we can't drive. So that way it, it, uh, it has those things on the side go and hit the ground so it's anchored down. That's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> now what am I stuck on? There's nothing there. What am I stuck on? I'm sorry, but this truck has 1,200 horsepower. It shouldn't get stuck on anything. All right, so where does this pipe? Which way does it go out? It looks like it shoots out to the left. Yes. All right, so let's get this over here to the left. We'll just get it close. It doesn't need to be anything but close. Alright, and I think it'll shoot right in from here. That should be fine. Right? Or does it not shoot out? Okay, I think it shoots out in an angle. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go ahead and take down some of these trees and see how awesome this looks. Won't it collect in the back as well? I, I don't know, Super Snipes. I really don't know. Hey, Skulldog, welcome back. Michael's pro-driving, absolutely pro-driving. Let's get ourselves some trees cut down. Now, we've never gotten this to work before, so this is our first time. We're going to see how it works. Because remember, the other trees weren't coated, so it, it would refuse to take them. All right, so here we go. Now, how do I make it go forwards and backwards? All right, forwards like this. All right, let's turn it on. Ready? Here we do. First tree. It's open. Here it is. It works. It works. Ready? All right, let's get it low as we can. Let's get it as low as we can. And, oh, okay, um, let's change the length to long, we want long, how long does it go, oh, that goes up to 12 meters, Alexa, how long is 12 meters, 12 meters is about 39 feet 5 inches, 39 feet 5 inches of tree, okay, let's see, Woo! Woo! Look at that! Oh! <laughs> Hold on! Hold on a minute! <laughs> Hold on! I need to look at this! Oh! You guys remember all the trouble we had with trees? Trouble no more, my friends! No branches, no leaves, no problem! Let's go put this in the wood chipper. We're actually gonna do smaller length than this because it's just a little bit too long. But, oh, that was awesome. Landon, welcome back, Landon. Landon, no! Landon, no hairballs. Landon, stop eating hair. I already told you about this, Landon. Stop eating hair. Right, let's turn it on. I think it stayed on, right? Let's check and see if that conveyor belt's moving. Oh, don't need to be in here. Let's see if that conveyor belt's moving. 
I might get covered in uh, wood chips if I sat in there. Okay, the conveyor is not moving. So what's going to have to happen is you're going to have to put the trees next to it, right? Oh, actually, I know what I have to do. I, I got my machines turned on off. Let's fix that. Um, let's see. Vehicle shutoff mode. Where is it? Um, vehicle. Where is it? Oh, automatic engine start. All right, so that means that it should be able to start and stop based on, on turning it on and off, not stopping when we get out. Let's try that. All right, so that should that should keep the wood chipper on. Let's find out, because I can hear the truck is still on. Yeah, it's still on. Oh, buddy, let's do this. Let's do this. So first, we're gonna do it the proper way, the way that you're supposed to do it, just so we can see how it works. And what that is, is you put a tree there, and then why did it do that? Oh, I, I'm not close enough. Alright, so, and then you use this arm right here. Like this. Um, how do you make that go out? Um, I don't know. That's how you turn it. Why ain't it working? It's left. Right. Okay, like this. The one direction I didn't try yet. There we go. Open up the jaws. So this is how you're supposed to do it. This is long and tedious. We're only going to do this once. And then you lift it. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this often. Bring it in. Then you bring it around. Then you open it. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. This is why we got the super strength mod for stuff like this. Yeah, it's way too long anyway. We wouldn't really be using a tree like this realistically. Oh, uh, it's too long. There we go. Beautiful. I don't see it throwing the stuff out, though. I don't see it throwing the stuff out. Hold on. Hold on a second. We might be having this facing the wrong direction. Alright, so let's see. If we unload, right, what does it look like when you unload? Control and I. Alright, so it actually unloaded it on the ground instead of in the pit. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> That's not where I wanted it. I want it in the pit. You didn't throw it in the pit. <laughs> hey, let's pipe in. Why, why would you dump it on the ground? The pit's right there. We'll back up. Why are you going? What are you doing? Back up! It looks like they all the uh, things didn't pick up. All right, let's go around. We'll, we'll do it again. <laughs> oh crud! Oh crud! This tree's gonna be annoying, isn't it? No! All right, hold on. Things, are, bad things are happening. Okay, lessons are learned. Lessons are learned. Let's try this again. Try and get some better placement. 
let's not put all of our wood chips on the ground instead of in the wood pile. All right, let's see. Um, what'd you have for dinner today? I had um, a breaded chicken breast stuffed with ham and cheese, like yesterday, except for it was ham instead of broccoli this time. We had ourselves chicken cordon bleu. Uh, Super Snipe says I was right, yeah. How do you have that semi? Oh, you missed it yesterday, Landon. You missed part of the stream. I guess when you were gone, you missed a lot of cool stuff. So you should definitely go back and watch my video from yesterday, part 67. Cotton, cotton, cotton. And check it out because some cool, awesome stuff happened that you want to go check it out. It was only after you went to bed it happened, I guess. I wasn't sure if that happened at the end or what, but yeah, it must be where it happened. Don't tell me I missed. I don't want to have to drive back around again. Here, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got a good idea, actually. There. Now you can't miss, huh? How's that? You can't miss. Cough you up a hairball, Jaden? No! Landon, are you eating hair again? No, Landon! Landon, stop eating hair. <laughs> Sign cube goes, Ubu Senpai, Itasu, Omigato, Origami, Onichan. Drew's Vids, welcome back. Good to see you again, buddy. How you doing today? Okay, let's go ahead and turn the wood chipper back on. Let's go ahead and uh, chip some wood. With chippy chip. Look at this pile. The pile, you missed! You missed! It's all right here on the ground! You missed! Hey, right, let's go ahead and throw this other one in there now. Dude, this is cool. I like I like doing wood chips. This is fun. One of my favorite things to do in the game is wood chips now. Because they're they're so profitable. You make a crap load of money off of it. And look at it, it's just cool. It's spinning out, it's doing it, look! It's spinning it out on my truck. It's spinning it out on the truck. Did you guys see this? Did you guys see it dumping it right on my truck? What is this shenanigans? Hold on, let's cut some more trees down. You missed skin because you were in control? Hold on, I don't think that should be dumping it on my truck like that. <laughs> I'm going to need to wash my truck afterwards. Let's get up here. Uh. Oh, well, I don't want to be under... What am I doing underneath? Ah! Where is this dark zone? I'm stuck. I can't get out either. Let me out. I'm stuck under the truck. Help. 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 Somebody help. All right. That's better. <laughs> help, help. I'm being repressed. All right. So I'm trying to show you guys the angle where you can see. Uh, There we go. See that? Watch the uh, shoot on top. See it over on the left? There you go. See it shooting it out on top of my truck? Oh, I can hop up here. That's cool. I didn't know that. Right, let's go get another big tree. What do you... Ma excuse me, ma'am. I know you're interested in forestry and forestry-related products, but do you mind? I'm working here. This is my land. You shouldn't even be on my land. Rude. All right. SD Farms 22, how you doing today? Welcome back. Now let's go ahead and cut down some more trees because this is just fun now. And let's cut our length down a little bit. Uh, maybe six is fine. Oh, it's not open. Oh, it's on, so it should be open. It might just have a bad angle. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm having a hard time hitting it. Um, best lumberjack in the world right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it cuts it up and down too if you keep it up and down. This is so awkward and so fun at the same time. Dude, it's like a tree ninja. Look at that, I took that tree out like a ninja. 
All right, let's go ahead and see that again. I want you guys to see what it looks like when I'm uh when it's dumping it all on top of my truck like that. See it? See it's all dumping it right there. It's on my truck. It's not where the wood goes, sir. It's not where the wood goes. Um, is this multiplayer? No, SD Farms will be starting multiplayer tomorrow. Tomorrow at noon central, okay? So that's in 16 and a half hours. Uh, the, um, also, it's going to be the first time. I've made some decisions. If you guys didn't hear about those decisions, let me tell you right now. It's going to be fun. Um, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first seven people. You're not going to get $100,000 anymore, okay? I just thought that wasn't as fun of an idea. The first seven people are actually going to get $500,000. That's right. $500,000. We're going to be playing on the smallest map. You're going to have a lot of money. So I think it's just going to make nothing but shenanigans. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, we can have up to 16 people, by the way. So we can have 16 people on the map, a small map, and eight of you guys are or seven of you guys are going to have $500,000. I think that's a recipe for awesomeness. Why can't I cut this? Why isn't it cutting? What am I doing wrong? Yeah, I was going to say, there's no reason that don't cut. Let's get as low as we can. And then we'll tilt it to the side. And then cut it up. This is cool. Oh, this is really cool. I like this a lot. Uh, be right back. Gotta go to bed. Bye, my bed. Bedtime. All right, Landon. Sorry you have to go, buddy. I was hoping you can hang out. We'll see you next time. Mean I might. Can someone else? Mean I might. Can you someone else's forest equipment? Did you own that Scorpion King? No, I rented everything. I, these, all this stuff is way too expensive to own. I mean, if I was doing forestry full time, then I'd, I'd look into buying it. But it's it's real expensive, so I rent it. And then, oh, it's getting better. Getting better. Getting better, guys. Look at these skills. Dang, that tree was long. Dude, that tree was super long. But look at this. Look at us just tearing through these trees now. Do I get this one? Oh, I'm tearing it up now. We got this. I Learning process learned. Learned. You'll help you, don't worry. Um, how are you going to help me? Are you going to play multiplayer with us? Because that would be pretty awesome if you are. Tomorrow at noon. And uh, just so you guys know how the whole process is going to work, because you guys might not know, um, I'm not renting a server yet, okay? So we're going to play on a private server. Or I'm not running a private server yet. So we're just going to play on a server that I make. So I, I'm not paying. Not yet. We'll see if it becomes popular. If it becomes popular, I'll pay. But what that means is that you guys are only able to play while I'm playing. Okay? So if I shut my game off, it's going to kick everybody. So I'm going to basically just keep the game on all weekend. <laughs> basically, you're just going to keep the game on all weekend. So we'll be able to play all weekend together. How am I missing? Let's hit the, oh, I'm hitting the uh, the wood chipper. It's okay. This turns though. Watch this. I think I can hit this angle. I can. I got that angle. Look at that. Look at these skills, guys. 
Wood cutting lumberjack skills, baby. That is freaking cool. Look at this. Dude, I like this so much. Oh, if I wait, it piles it too a little bit. Because see, it rolls down and it puts the other ones on top. So I could wait. Dude, this is so awesome. Forestry's great. <laughs> okay, you can join in February. Yep, if I'm still playing in February, you can definitely join. The, the plan is right now, play it for free. That means you can have 16 people. Um, but you guys can only play when I'm playing. If it becomes popular and I rent a server, you guys can play anytime you want, 24-7, whether I'm there or not. So it's, it'll be up to you guys. And it's a 16-man server, so we can have 16 people. Dude, these big ones have no problem at all. The conveyor belt works perfect. Like, look at this. I not a single problem with this. Remember the other one, how all the things we're having going wrong? But look, this is, this is perfect. This makes the job very enjoyable when it, it works like this. Even when I put on a little bit wrong, it still pulls it like it's supposed to. It works like a conveyor is supposed to work. This is awesome, guys. Holy cow. This is much fun. Uh, have you got a grinder for the stumps? I have not. Uh, I can go rent one. I just didn't know if we were going to have time to do that or not. I think we can do it with a chainsaw now anyway. Yeah, you can. There's a forestry mod, so you can cut the stumps out with the chainsaw now. I wasn't sure about that, but it looks like... I don't think it hits all of them. Apparently. It's not hitting this one. And I'm right on. Yeah, somebody said there was problems with it. I mean, I installed it, but I didn't know if I'd be using it or not. So yeah, you'd still need to get a stump grinder. It's just not hitting some of these stumps. Like, see, this one's just not hitting it. Let's see if I can find another one I can't hit. There it goes. So yeah, it'll hit some of them. But yeah, it doesn't hit all of them, so you'll still need a stump grinder. You'll know because that little circle lights up in red. But that one's not, yeah, that one's just not going to do it. Alright, anyways. Um, someone with forestry equipment, I can borrow that. Yeah, right, right. Um, actually, Jaden, I think the way it works is if you are, if the, the, the person has to give you permission to use their equipment. Um, it's a, it's a little check. If they check the box, you can use any of their equipment anytime. I know that's different from Farm Simulator 19, because Farm Simulator 19, I'm pretty sure you could just go take anybody's equipment anytime you wanted if they didn't, like, lock it. So that's pretty funny. Um, farm Simulator 22, you actually have to have permission. But when you open up your farm list, there's a whole bunch of boxes that you can check for different permissions. Uh-oh. Did it miss? Sure did. Oh, it does two at once. Look at that. Look at that! Two at once! Man, forestry is awesome. I'm not going to lie. Forestry is really awesome, guys. No, I'm not going to get that one either. Um, you're not getting on your computer all weekend? Yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be on my computer all weekend. So that way we can have the multiplayer going and staying. Because as long as my computer is on, or my game is up... You guys can be in the server and playing and doing whatever you want. The only reason it will kick you is if my computer goes off or I shut off the game. So I'm just going to leave it on all weekend so everybody can play all weekend. And we'll see how it goes. And if it's going good, I'll leave it on all week for everybody. And if it keeps going good, we'll just buy a private server so that way, whether I'm on or not, you guys can keep playing. So it's going to be all up to everybody's participation. Uh, Discord? No, I'll be on Discord. Um, have you got a grinder for the stumps? Uh, we wouldn't use this type of equipment if I live in South Georgia. I use FDR equipment. What is FDR equipment? I mean, is it as good as this? Because if I had this job, I'd be doing this job for a living because this is awesome. I'd love to be the guy to cut down the tree, have a machine clean it up for me, and then throw it into the wood chipper. It seems like the, the, the most fun job you could probably have in the line of lumberjacking. 
Because, you know, in real life, I can lift up trees this big, too. <laughs> in real life, trees fear me. <laughs> uh, nope, it was like that in 19, way better. Really? You think that's way better, just being able to use anybody's stuff anytime? I mean, it seems fun, but it seems like shenanigans. What is this deer doing up here? What are you doing, deer? What are you doing? You watching? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and cut down some more trees. Man, I'm having such a good time with this. Alright, let's get this one, get this row. It's gotta balance it a little bit. It's gotta get even so it can cut. There we go, like that. It doesn't want to be on unstable ground. Why is that not cutting? That looks like it should cut. Oh, okay, it's got to be in between. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I got it. Dude, this is so much easier than doing it by hand. You remember how many hours we put into taking these down by hand? Holy cow, this is so much easier. And I can turn it so I can adjust whether it's going to kick out the wood like this. Oh, crap. I put it right in my, my bed. <laughs> Alright, mistakes were made. Lessons learned. Sorry, right, it's not our equipment. If it breaks, we'll just turn it back broken. Somebody else's stuff. We're, le we're leasing it. There we go. Tim Burton! Like, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, it still turns it a little bit. Okay. And I run Discord servers, so we log all the time with the mods. They're great. No, the FDR equipment is way better, is it? I don't know anything about it. Can I use other people's equipment in multiplayer? You can use other people's equipment in multiplayer if they give you permissions. Because everybody has an option for permission for their own property. So basically everybody with a farm gets to, to name their farm and put a password on it. And then they can uh, give permissions to anybody they want anytime. That's how you do, um, that's how you do jobs for them, is by, they give, by them giving you permission. What's wrong with this one? What's wrong with this one? Oh, that's what's wrong. Makes sense. I just couldn't see that it was messed up from that angle. Whoa, did the tree just glitch? Is that a double tree? Is that a double tree, guys? How do I turn this? I think we got a double tree out of it. We've got that special 1% double tree spawn, like in, a <laughs> like in an MMO. Not something that ever would really happen. It's got so many directions it can go. It does! It's a double tree! Look! <laughs> we got a double tree, guys! <laughs> Two for the price of one! Science says, ah! Uh, Super Science says, Dom, I also showed my dad... Sing... Dom, I also showed my dad singing. He was cracking up. Oh, no. Uh, Jane says, SDF, can you answer that? SDF says... If I got farm manager, I have all permissions. Yeah, if you if you're a farm manager, if you own a farm, you you have permission. You give permission or not, or to whoever you want to use your stuff. I'm trying to turn this so it doesn't hit me with it. Oh, it's going to hit us because I can't get it to look away. <laughs> there we go. We'll just pile it up on top of the uh, 
On top of the wheels. That looks normal to me. <laughs> Let's go get that last one. There we go. This is enjoyable. This really is. Oh, the log's rolling down the hill. Man, I got that from that angle. Try and get this to fall. There we go. And then kick it out. This is make this makes the experience so much better. We had so much trouble last time trying to get the trees cut down by hand, stacking them up and doing everything. This makes it so much more fun. This is un unbelievably fun. Let's go over here. Like, this has got to be a way to play the game where you just grow, f grow trees and cut them down. And you grow so many trees it just takes forever to cut them all down. This is definitely a way to play the game. I can completely imagine someone just spending all their time doing this. Phew! Excuse me. And then see I'm getting better and better by, by each tree so you can learn and just get better. This is extremely fun. Now I see why the machines cost so much money because they're not you're not just for what it can do. Even though it does save you a lot of time. I mean, it doesn't really take that long to do what this machine's doing. But the fact that it's this enjoyable doing it too, it, it's, it's very good. Oh yeah, you can definitely get quicker too. See, I'm getting faster and faster. Sent part of my setup in Discord. Oh, okay, cool. I'll check it out when I get a minute. knock this one down look at that honestly this machine just taking off the branches the way it takes off the branches makes it worth it to me the branches are uh, taking all the branches off a tree is such a pain this this makes it absolutely worth every penny Yeah, I can I can hit that angle now that I've done it a few, for a few trees. I have a better understanding of what the angle is to cut to cut them like that. I like this. I really do. Yep. You can definitely get faster. Unless they give you the permission, no. Yeah. Why is there three people looking at your truck? I don't know. I always wonder that too. It's like look at them. They're like, wow, this is fun. I wish I was a farmer so I could do this too. Well, you're not farmers. I'm the farmer. Go get your own farm. Like this is actually my land. Like all of this that you can see right now, that's all my land. So they're they're like walking on my property in my stuff. They're all in my junk, all in my business. Man, this is so satisfying. One of the most satisfying things we've done so far in this game. Easily. Yeah, easily one of the most satisfying things we've done. 
probably mostly because of all the pain that we went through doing it by hand. That makes this more satisfying. But uh, it, it definitely is worth this. Okay, now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. Let's get off this tree. As soon as I say something good about it, it's like, haha, now we'll troll you like usual. And then you come through here and take all the stumps out and then replant all your trees. I would get addicted though. If I cut all these trees down and I had this much fun doing it, I'd want to take a whole field and just do a whole field of trees. Seriously. Why stop at this little tiny field when you can do your whole farm in trees and then cut your whole farm down once it's time to do the trees? You'd just become a, a, a billionaire just off trees. Yeah, I would even buy my own uh, harvester. I mean, if you're going to do like a, a billion dollars worth of trees, why not have your own harvester or your own uh, tree cutter? Just makes sense. You guys didn't think I'd get that angle, did you? Didn't think I'd get that angle. I got it, though, sideways. Might be a good idea to pop them out sideways like this, though, right? So that way you can stack it and not have them, like, all over the place. Because, look, you can do this with them. That's actually pretty professional looking. Look at me. Look at me getting all professional looking. What kind of crazy town is this where I can do stuff professional? Nuts. Let's do it again. Make it look good. Just like that. Look at that. Look at me stacking this up like a pro. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> for years. Years and years. You didn't know. You don't know. Let's see. Um... Run them over, please. You know, if they would be, there would be pancakes. Oh, absolutely. The people? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. How you say, give me the equipment? <laughs> you just say, hey, give me the equipment. <laughs> um, they don't just check a box and you're able to drive them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying, too. You just check a box and it gives you permission. And you get to, uh, anybody that you accept. You can give them and take away permission anytime you want. Here we go. Beautiful. How fun is this, guys? Yeah, I like having it sideways like this, so it actually goes to the side instead of in front of the uh, in front of the tr uh, the cutter. So I got to get a little bit closer like this. Timber! Pop them out! Lift and pop! It's 
Spruce trees? Chick. Pine trees? Chick. I'm better at this than my driving. Listen, I'm gonna I, I would normally argue with that. I think I am pretty good at this though. <laughs> once I once I figured out how to use the crane properly and get the angles properly, I think I am getting pretty good at this. I like it. It's very enjoyable. So, um, if anybody here hasn't heard the news, this is the last stream for um, starting from scratch. We're on episode 68, final episode. Um, reason being is just because we're going to start something new. If you guys didn't hear what's going to be new, um, once we're done doing the multiplayer, we're going to start another, another um, segment, and it's going to be called Farm Simulator Vintage Play. Now, what that means is we're going to start over again on a new map, a big, nice, awesome-looking map. And we're going to start over on hard. So we're going to have no money. Well, we're going to have a, the loan that you have to have. But we're going to have no land, just like we started this one. We're going to have no equipment, just like we started this one. And we're basically going to start from scratch again. But the caveat is we're going to um, be playing vintage. What that means is that all the equipment that we buy, all the equipment we use, is going to be old, as old as we can possibly find. So I'm going to be downloading mods to find any kind of vintage equipment. There's not really that much yet, but there's some. And we're going to be doing all vintage style. So if you guys like old retro vintage stuff, that's going to be what to watch. It's going to be just as hard because it's going to be old school and a little bit harder because it's so old school. So get excited for that. Um, also, it's not going to be like this one. We're just playing randomly. Let's do what we do. Let's maybe do this and maybe let's get some crops or maybe cut some trees. No, we're going to have a plan. We're actually going to be chocolate and cheese farmers. So we're going to be making as much chocolate and cheese as we can every year and selling that. Uh, we might get into the cake business. Maybe. But our main goal is chocolate and cheese. So that means lots of cows, lots of sugar cane, lots of that. Um, what about 69? Nope, no 69. Sorry, no 69. Now, I'm not going to delete this farm, don't worry. So let's just say we try the other one and we just don't like it or we just like this one better. I can always come back. This farm will still be here. It'll still be January. It'll still be snowy out. We'll still have wood and, and all these crops and harvest and cotton and all of our chickens. So we'll still have this in case we ever want to come back to it. But I think it's going to be a really fun idea to do this vintage style. And we've been playing this game for so long and this map for so long. It, let's just do something new. And one of the reasons I know is just because we're, we're fast-forwarding so much lately that it just doesn't seem like we're getting much out of the game. You know, play for a day of the month and then fast-forward to the next month. Play a day of the month and fast-forward to the next month. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's just not as satisfying doing that. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream, buddy. How's everything going? So we're going to start over again from episode number one, and it's going to be starting from scratch vintage, or vintage farming, or vintage from scratch. We'll, we'll, I'll f you guys can help me figure out a title if you want, but it's going to be something along those lines. Maybe just vintage farming or something like that. And it's going to be fun, because it'll be a new map, a map I don't know, and it'll be good times. Uh, you need mods, I'll help you find without getting viruses. Alright, SDF, let me know if you come up with any good vintage mods. Now, I already have a few for, like, tractors and stuff like that, and a couple plows and stuff. So, I really don't need too much, but if you come up with something interested, let me know, and I'll take a look. This is awesome. We can just take these giant spruce trees down. This is really, really satisfying. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey! Calm down now. We're not trying to tip it over. But I figured after the debacle that we had earlier in the season with the last tree farm that we deserved, we all deserved a good lumberjack episode. Well, what is this view? I saw a view that I found interesting. This one? Look at this view, guys. 
You can actually just do it from from like you're in the in the window right there. This is a good view right here. This is probably the easier view to do it, and I should have been doing this all along, right? Wow, that tree was huge. I'm rolling over too many logs. I'm having a hard time uh, driving over them. That ain't going to stop me, though. John Deere tractor, do your thing! Where am I missing at? Okay, I see. There it is. I got it. I got that angle. Yeah, buddy. Got that angle. This is great. Pick on Dom Day. It is not pick on Dom Day. What are you talking about? Um, let's see, dang, I have to leave in five minutes. Aw, oh, Jaden, sorry you have to leave. Gotcha, you're gonna head out now. Sorry you have to leave, SD Farms. We're having fun talking to you, buddy. Frosty's back. It's all right, I'm Frosty now. Awesome. Welcome back, Frosty. Thank you for this. Ah, I'm here, Dom. Notice me, Senpai. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Super Snipe says, what about the Vintage Reserve? What is the Vintage Reserve? Is that alcohol? Vax Dupe says, hi, what you doing? We are destroying trees is what we're doing. Wow, Dom hasn't bought cows, and it's... Last stream, and it's been one hour and 30 minutes of stream, and no cows yet. Ha <laughs> ha. Frosty says, Is YouTube your main job? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, it's not a paying job. I mean, I get paid I get paid doing YouTube, but I only get paid by people that view. Um, I get paid by donations, of course, but I, don't, I really don't ask for donations. I mean, if people donate, cool, but I don't even accept big donations. I return them. So it is a paying job. It's just very, very low pay because I'm just a small little baby streamer. So I don't make very much money. I get paid like one quarter of a penny for every view. So if you view, you're basically giving me a quarter of a penny. So I would like it to be a job that you know I can sustain a, a living off of, because right now I'm, I'm jobless. So <laughs> I'm always trying. I'm always trying. But like I always tell people, I don't do this for the money, even though like I'm jobless. I do it because it's my hobby, because it's fun, because it brings joy to others. I have a lot of good reasons for doing this. If no one ever donates and I never make a penny off of this, I'm still going to keep doing it because I've been doing it for six years now, and it's just so much fun. I, a lot of people like the books that I read, um, especially the Percy Jackson books, and it brings a lot of joy to people, and it brings a lot of people to meet each other, especially in the communities that like the same things. Like on my Discord, you know, we have, what, about 150 people that all join because they like Percy Jackson books and, and the books that I read, and they met, and people are meeting and becoming friends and hanging out every day. So it's just a platform where good things can happen. Um, Frosty says, that's cool. Vexy says, fun. You had an interesting job before this, though. I did. I was uh, working in a beef jerky factory. But that is no more. Super Snipes says, no for the name of the new stream. The Vintage Reserve. Ooh. Ooh, Super Snipes. I like the way that sounds. It, it gives the hint that it could be about alcohol. But it's actually not. It's a very clever. Good, good, good call. Very clever of you. Yeah, I definitely am getting these angles down, by the way. <laughs> so, if you were to get 1 million views, that would be $25. Yes. If I would get 1 million views, that would be $25. Ish. I mean, I think it actually rounds up a little bit, so I might get like $27. <laughs> Something like that. There might also be like tiers, like if enough people watch it in a month or something like that, they'll give me more. But the big money will be if I can get more subs, and that's why I'm always telling you guys to sub if you want to help the channel. Because it doesn't cost you anything. Subbing is free. So if you sub, and then um, I get a chance to become like a silver member or like a platinum member, if I can get... I, I don't know if 10000 gets me anything, but I know $100,000... Uh, not $100. 100000 100, subs is really good. They'll even send me a plaque in the mail. And if I can get 100,000 subs, 
I'll get a huge, huge bonus with subs. Like, people start seeing my channel, and it will get a huge increase in people. Oh, no. No! Ah! Ah! Attack of the trees! I'm sideways! This is not, this is not how it goes. <laughs> what happened? So much for getting better. There we go. <laughs> I was doing so good until that point. All right, let's try and get these over here now. Roll over the trees. It's like the trees are rolling. That's like nat real. It looks good. All right, how's this angle? There we go. Why? Whoa, the trees are moving me. I was like, why can't I get this? And all of a sudden I saw the trees rolling the whole tractor. It's weird. It's awkward. I was very awkward there for a minute. There's the angle I'm trying to hit. Got it. It took a minute, but we got it. <laughs> there it is. Let's see. Um, depends on which country the view is from. True. Super Snipe says, I can trade make, lol. Jo oh, you can trade market? Nice. Joking. If you want to call it that, you're more than welcome. Uh, Drew's vid says, do you have an Oculus? I do. I feel streaming using VR would make good content. Um, Drew, I was one of the first person on YouTube to make Oculus Rift videos. Um, if you go look into my playlist, you'll see I have a lot of VR games. Look at the dates on those VR games. I was playing VR before pretty much everybody was playing VR. Like, I bought one the same week it was released mainstream. And, um, no, I did not get much popularity or attention at all. Because even if you're playing VR, you're still a little fish in a big pond. So that means everybody that, you know, the big streamers stay big, and us little streamers, unfortunately, stay small. So I was putting out so many VR videos like I was one of the first people to do the ones with the sticks and your your the uh, the workout kind of game and you're doing the music um I don't remember what it's called anymore but yeah go go look at my v go look at my playlist and go look at my VR games and the dates on my VR games you'll be amazed how soon I started playing VR <laughs> like people like I didn't even know VR was like eligible at that time it was it was I was playing games but nobody saw because I'm just a baby baby channel Little channel. I would like to be big, but, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. Uh, Michael went McFallen. I did. That's true. The more subs you get, the more people that find your channel. True. True, Vaxi. So if I can get people to sub, then I can become bigger. Little by little. Frost says, Drew, what's up? Drew says, Frosty, what's up? Frost says, Domination, I subbed on my other accounts. Well, thanks, Frosty. Appreciate your subs, buddy. Drew says, haven't seen you in six hours, Frosty. Frosty says, yeah, bro. Oh, no, we might flip again. Okay, we're good. We're good. No problems. No problem. Dude, look how quick we cut down a whole forest of trees. We had 40 trees planted. We're down to the last three. Who would have thought you could cut down 40 trees and, and strip them of leaves? Last time we did this, it took us like, what, six or eight hours? Six to eight hours to cut down this many trees. And strip them. And then like another four hours to turn them all into wood chips. You guys remember all that? I would say I would say, 40 trees last time, to cut them down, strip them, turn them into wood chips, and then um. Oops, let's get this. I can't back up. I'm stuck on the stump. And uh, take out the stumps. Took probably about 12 hours. Probably about 12 hours last time. It took a while. It wasn't. It was not a quick process. But we did it, and we made a lot of money off of it. I think if you start making Oculus videos again, now that you have more video or more subs, you'll get more views, and it would be entertaining. Uh, that's a good idea, Drew. I can definitely look into that. But right now, with me um, being unemployed, it's hard for me to be able to afford games. So I can't really go out of my way crazy for it. And if I'm only going to get, you know, like 10 or 20 views, it's not worth it, because that's not even a couple dollars. This game cost me 50, and... Um, 
I love it. I'm very glad I bought it. Uh, I'm getting a, a hundred views or so every video, which is nice. But even this don't pay, won't pay for itself. So I, I every now and then I can splurge a little bit and get a big fifty or sixty dollar game. But people don't come to my channel for the games. They don't. I mean, a couple of you do, and I respect you and appreciate you. But people come to my channel for the books. And and I know that's what it is because, like I said, when I first started the stream, I streamed for about two years. And it was a gaming channel. It was called Domination Gaming Channel. And I had about, you know, I would say 50 or 60 subs. In two years, it took me to get 50 to 60 subs. And then I realized, okay, this isn't working. Um, people aren't watching me for games. So what, what can I do? Uh, and I started reading books. And then I went from 60 subs that year to about 3,000 subs or 2,000 subs the first year. So people want to hear me read. That's what, that's what they're here for. I still love gaming, that's why you can see right now we're gaming, so I'm not going to stop gaming, but the prio of this channel is, is, is uh, reading. And right now I got almost 9,000 subs, and that, that's 100% from reading. Alright, we did good guys. We got all those trees cut down, felt awesome, felt fun. Um, let's see. Um, I'm not subbed on this account. Shame on me. Dominic! Dominic! Sub! <laughs> Sign Cuber says, I'm sleepy. You're always sleepy. Druvid says, to play Gorilla Tag. I don't know if it's on Oculus Rift, but I know it's on Oculus Quest. It's completely free, though. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I'll have to check that out. Thank you. Um, how do you get paid on YouTube? They just pay you. Um, every month, they, they take how much revenue that you've earned, and it just goes to my bank account. Sign Cuber says, I think a little rest should do the trick. Super Snipe says, Dom, what time is it where you are now so I can work out the time for the stream? Right now it is 8 o'clock, and I start streaming at 6.30. But keep in mind that it's going to be different this weekend, because this weekend I'm changing my schedule just for the weekend. Every day, normally I stream at 6.30 at night. Every day. Every day, 6.30 at night. <laughs> this weekend, we're changing it up for the multiplayer, and this weekend I'm going to stream randomly all day Friday, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday randomly, okay? And they're going to be one-hour streams. So you're going to get lots and lots of streams from me this weekend. And then come Monday, it's going to go back to my normal schedule, 6.30 at night. Um, Frog says, I respect that. Sign says, POV, you forgot to destroy the like button. Uh, Vaxi says, subbed on that account now. Thank you, Vaxi. Skulldog says, I'm back. Welcome back, Skulldog. Drew's video says, I, Skulldog. And as you guys can already tell, the whole reason my channel is anything, um, I, the whole reason I started streaming in the first place, doing video games at first, is because I used to watch big streamers stream, and I used to love it. And um, I got really, really frustrated, because you can't go to a big streamer and watch them and get attention. You can't. Uh, if, if they, they are, uh, They're streamers. Some of them are... You want to say hi? Cool. Give me $5, and I'll say hi to you. Oh, you left a comment? Okay, well, go ahead and pay me money, and I'll read your comments. Oh, you wanna, want me to notice that you exist? Okay, that'll be $5, please, and I'll give you a shout-out and notice you exist. Are you guys catching the theme here? You can go into a channel and watch them for weeks or months, and they'll never once acknowledge you. Uh, I decided when I made this channel, and this is all in my Patreon, too. You guys can read my Patreon. Um, I decided that I'm going to make a channel where people get noticed. That people can come and have fun and get recognized. You don't ever have to pay a dime. I mean, if you want to, cool. I'll accept donations. Uh, but you don't have to, ever. I'm never going to say, hey, pay me. you got to have give me a donation. You know? That's just, that's not how I am. So you'll never have to worry about that. Um, I read almost every message. I reply to almost every message, even in comments on my YouTube. And I always want people to feel like they're noticed and recognized. Because just because you don't have money doesn't mean you're any less than someone that does have money. And just because, you know, you know, you don't donate doesn't mean you, sh you are not worth being paid attention to. Now, if you do donate, I will say this so you guys know this ahead of time. I will always be happy and be happy that you guys donated and want to help the channel. But I proved this before, and if I have to, I will prove it again. I do not accept big donations, okay? Um, somebody donated, what was it, $200 one time? It was either 200 or 500 once. They're like, I like your stream. Uh, you bring me a lot of joy, especially now that, you know, COVID is happening, and this is money that I would have spent on big streamers, and they gave me, I think it was a $500 donation, and I refunded it, 
And I told him, I said, thanks for the $500 donation, but I don't accept big donations. Take that $500 and go buy yourself something nice. If you got a mom, go buy her some flowers. If you got a dad, go buy him something nice. Save it for Christmas. I don't, I don't care. Don't donate me big money. I don't accept it. It's nice and I appreciate the gesture, but all I need for you to do is show up to the streams, watch my videos, and just you know be a part of my community. Maybe get on Discord and be part of the Discord. But $500 was way too, even $200, whatever it was, it was too much. And I refunded it. And that's just, just how I am. Um, let's see. What's up, Drew? Good. I notice, I'll notice you for five bucks, but only for five seconds. True, Vaxi. True. And it sucks because even those big streamers, okay, even those big streamers, whoa. <laughs> even those big streamers will take your five dollars and notice you for five minutes, and then they won't notice you again. You can give them $10 a day every day, and they'll still expect another $10 to notice you the next day. And let's be honest, okay? Let's be honest. And I'm going to talk a little trash because it's honesty, not trash, okay? But there's streamers out there, and you guys know who they are. They're big streamers, okay? They're millionaires. They make millions of dollars, okay? They do. And they still want you to pay to notice them or for them to notice you. Don't pay a million millionaire dollars, Okay? If you're giving a millionaire money, you're wasting your money. Okay? I'm sorry, but you are. If you give somebody that makes a million dollars, ten of your hard-earned dollars, or five of your hard-earned dollars, or even give them a hundred of your hard-earned dollars, they don't care. That's not even taxes for them. If you give them a hundred dollars, okay, hey, thanks for the hundred dollars, you're amazing. They don't even notice it. It doesn't matter. Take that $100 and go buy yourself something nice. Go buy yourself something happy. Go, go do something. Go take somebody on a date. Take yourself on a date. Go watch something. Go buy something. Stop giving big streamers your money. It does not affect them at all. That's truth. I mean, that's honest truth. Okay? If a, if a streamer makes a million dollars, $33,000 go to taxes. Okay? $33,000 go to taxes. If you give them $100, they don't even look in their bank account to see if their bank account went up a little bit. They don't notice it. Imagine if you're giving them $5. That's one snowflake in a snowstorm. They don't care. Um, let's see. If you ask me for my bank, my money and my bank card, I would laugh at you. True, you should. Vex is $500. Uh, Drew says, I know you have Minecraft, but is it Java or Bedrock, or do you not know? Um, I'm pretty sure it was Java from what I remember. Yeah, I appreciate it was drama. And that's something else you're going to get on the stream. I have opinions, and if you ask my opinions, I'm going to give you how I feel. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. And sometimes people like those opinions. Sometimes they don't. But I guarantee you're going to get honesty out of me. I'm not going to say something just to get a rise or a reaction. I'm not going to say something just because it's what you want to hear or don't want to hear. I, I treat people the way that I want to be treated. Um, everybody that comes in this room... I 100% understand you could be anywhere else watching somebody else doing something else. But you choose to come here and li watch and listen to me. I respect you very much for that, and I thank you very much for that. And that respect is, I'm not going to bullcrap you. This is a safe, fun family channel. People sometimes curse. I mean, people curse. But I keep it as family-friendly as possible out of respect for all my younger viewers. This is just a place where I love Percy Jackson books and I want to share them. I love gaming and I want to share it. Uh, Skulldog says, it's true. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, what's the point of paying money to be noticed for less than a second? Bro, I claim ripoff. I, I agree. Streamers are basically lying, living off your money. Uh, the job is streaming, get paid for donating your money to them. Well, it, it's a lot more than that, Drew. Okay, first off, they're getting paid by view. Okay? They're getting paid. You viewing them? They're getting paid. Even if it's only a quarter of a penny, they're getting paid. When you donate, they're getting paid again. When you um, do the monthly subscription, they're getting paid a third time. If they have ads, they're getting ad revenue. If they have sponsors, they're getting sponsor pay. So they will also lie to you. And let me tell you why, okay? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm, I mean, obviously lying is wrong, but the reason they do it isn't so wrong, okay? They're doing it for profit. If a streamer tells you how much they really make and that they got like six different types of revenue from one person watching, then people are going to be turned off. 
they they don't want people to know that hey if you donate five dollars i'm getting that five dollars plus i'm getting money from your view plus i'm getting money for you watching the ad plus i'm getting money for you being on stream when the sponsor's playing so you're actually giving them a lot more money than you think and so they're like oh crap if people find out i'm a millionaire they're not going to want to give me more money so don't don't be fooled even little streamers like me i'm only making a quarter of a penny it turns out to be like a hundred or so dollars a month or a couple hundred a month sometimes depending on how many people watch I'm, I'm in no means you know rich i'm in no means going poor though i can't really survive off the amount of money that this makes but i have other money so i can afford to do this and and not get paid so don't don't let the streamers fool you though if they're streaming and they have ads and they have everything going they're making money off you um, sorry I couldn't make it yesterday. I was doing it with a thing with my friend. Well, welcome back, Death Dragon Jr. It's good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. Ah, okay, Drew, okay. They just lied to get you your money? Yeah. yeah. And don't get me wrong, they're not bad people, big streamers. I mean, they've obviously done what it takes to become big streamers. And there's a little bit of me being jealous. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit jealous. I would love to be doing exactly what I'm doing right now and make a million dollars for it. Because there's plenty of people doing that. They're putting out the exact same content, doing the exact same thing I'm doing. The only difference is they're making a crap load of money for it, and I'm not. But it's okay. It's okay. Like I already said many times, I do this because my love of doing it and my hobby. If I can make some money, great. If not, I'm still going to keep doing it. Oh, uh, let's see. Sign keepers, ha ha ha, I don't know why I'm yelling. Um... Sometimes it just happens. Dom, I don't want to put you on the spot. What book did you read that you don't like at all? Oh, that's really a hard question for me because usually when I read a book, I don't know too much about it ahead of time, but I know generally if it's a book I'm going to want to read or not. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not going to pick up a book and then, like, it's about war and I didn't know it was about war. Or, you know, you know what I mean? I don't just pick up a book and just blindly jump into it. I do do a little bit of research. Um, especially on the Percy Jackson books, um, I do a lot of research. I want to know what they are. I want to know who's in it. I want to know what kind of characters I got to get my voices for. I, do, I don't know the plot. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm not like surprised, you know? Now that's, that's partially true. I am surprised by the things that happen because I don't know ahead of time. Like all my reactions when I'm reading, you guys know I try and stay in character, but when you hear me gasp or you hear me laugh, all that's like not planned. It's not scripted. That's again, why I don't edit. Because when I edit, I feel like I'm changing the narrative. I'm, I'm making you guys see what I want you to see instead of seeing everything. So there really hasn't been a book that I just haven't liked. Now, there's been games that I play that I haven't liked. And I'll rage quit and quit halfway through. If you guys see that I played a game, um, I don't know, there's a few games that I've played. And you'll see there's only like one or two episodes. It's because either A, I just didn't like it. Or B, I rage quit and I'm like, forget this. I'm paying to have fun, and I'm not having fun. I'm done with this trash, and I'll just stop. <laughs> that's, that's happened a couple times. <laughs> um, Skulldog says, I like that you do it for fun. Drew says, what Oculus games are you talking about? Uh, Beat Saber. Yeah, Beat Saber. Uh, I played Beat Saber, Saber when there was only like 10 people on YouTube playing Beat Saber. And I still, nobody cared. And then it got real popular, and they started watching everybody, and I still wasn't watched. Because I'm just a small fish in a big pond. And I get that. I, I get that, I respect that, and I completely am okay with it. I, I would like to grow. I would. Believe me, I would love for this to be my full-time job and make money and do a living off of it. I would love it. And actually, that's part of my plan, you guys. Um, if my stocks go up and I make some money, I plan on leaving where I'm living right now because I hate it here and moving to Hawaii and uh, buying a house and doing streams on the beach and doing like vacation and travel streams all over Hawaii and still doing my reading and video games. So that's the dream. The dream is if I can get some money buying a house in Hawaii and, and giving you guys amazing Hawaii content every day. So we'll see if that dream ever happens, but that's the dream, guys. That's the dream. Get down there. Get on there. What are you doing? Get out there. Like the game with the Plague Doctor? No, I beat the game with the Plague Doctor. I like that game. Uh, if we're talking about the right one, there's there's been a couple games with Plague Doctors. Which one are you talking about? 
If you're talking about the one with the rats, the Plague Doctor and all the rats, I love that game. I beat that game in a couple days. It was so fun, I didn't want to stop playing it. So I guess we're probably talking about different games. Let's see. Games are like Dark Souls. Games like Dark Souls. Um, I've never played Dark Souls. I, I, I watched other people play, and I learned that um, that's not a good game for me to play. Now, I did play Bloodborne, which is very, very similar to Dark Souls. Um, that's one of the ones I rage quit after like one or two episodes. <laughs> so yeah, I can imagine that Dark Souls, the same thing would happen. Because <laughs> I couldn't handle Bloodborne. I was so bad at it, and it was just no fun for me. I'm like, forget this. This this is a waste. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Um, I'll keep watching your vids. I would love to help. Thank you, Skulldog. I appreciate that. You showing up for the streams, you watching the vids, that helps out a lot. Um, I also have a Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, join the Discord. A lot of cool people in there. A lot of fun people. And there's a lot of people in there that can't watch streams, but they still hang out in the Discord. So you can meet some pretty cool people that way. They have a lot of the same interests. I guess it was on the other side. Let's see. Vexy says, I said the game with the Plague Doctor was short, and you finished it in one episode. Oh, okay, okay. You're talking about a game that was short. I gotcha. Randos87, first off, cool name. And I like what you did there, because you're, you've never been here before, so you are a rando. Um, but you're not using it in a negative way. So props to you, rando. Very well job, and welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you doing today? Hopefully things are going good to you. Hopefully you like Farm Simulator, because I play this game a lot. <laughs> 332 hours to be exact so far. Could you guys imagine a game that's not even been out for two months playing it for 330 hours? <laughs> I've never played this farm simulator before ever, so I had no idea what I was getting into, and this game is amazing. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got a little tie up here. A little tie up. Get in there. What are you doing? This is our first glitch? Our first glitch, guys. Our first glitch. Yep, we got a glitch. It took long enough to get a glitch. But uh, we got to get rid of this. We can't have this. Glitches are very bad. Glitches lock it up. Glitches make it so you can't jump. Glitches make it so you can't move. Glitches really ruin this game. So let's go ahead and just leave that over there. Uh, it's possible for, to make a living off watching your streams. They're just so entertaining. <laughs> Drew, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that a lot. Um, that's something else you guys might find quite interesting or disturbing. I'm not sure what you might find. But the fact that my streams are the same now as than when I started six years ago. Now, I have made my channel more family-friendly. I curse a lot less. I, I tone my jokes to a different style, so I'm not just, you know, vulgar as much. But it's pretty much the same stream, just with different games. So if you like the contents now, um, I, I encourage you, go check out my, uh, my other stuff. I have a huge playlist. Uh, you guys might find other stuff that you like. Now... Also, I have about 6,500 videos. I don't know if that relates to anybody by a lot, but 6,500 videos. So you guys have a lot of content if you guys want to watch my videos on stuff. I also try different things out all the time. I tried out new stuff to see if I like it, um, such as I do Anna Banana videos. Uh, I just started making a banana and putting eyes on it and a mouth on it and then put it in situations where it usually gets destroyed. So if you guys like funny stuff, you guys might like Anna Banana. Um, Anna Banana challenges like fire, challenges a Tyrannosaurus Rex, challenges a Katana, challenges a Blender. Like Anna Banana gets into some situations. So I encourage you to check those out. Those are pretty liked. Grounded was fun. Grounded was fun. And that was one I got to play with a couple of my IRL buddies, uh, Storm and Rayak. I like it whenever I can play games with them. Those are good guys. I like playing with fans. Now, those two, yeah, they're fans, but they're IRL people I know in real life. So that made it a lot more fun, too, because we could talk about it outside of gaming. And you guys could see some of my friends. Yep, I did Will It Waffle videos. Sadly, those never caught on, and I'm really, really surprised, because I thought for sure Will It Waffle would catch on, but it never did. Yeah, another glitch. That's our second glitch. Two out of 40 ain't bad. These are from the spruce trees that are glitching, it looks like. You should try Valorant. Um, I've watched other people play Valorant. I wasn't sure if people would watch me play because I used to do also do League of Legends streams. 
and um, how-to League of Legends videos and like weird stuff that you wouldn't expect like Sona mid, mid and not only to play Sona mid how to do it and how to win games so they were to me really really good content because it's like you never see Sona mid she's a support but I show you how to do it and how to win consistently but uh, and, and actual whole gameplays of me like kicking people's butts with Sona um, I did a lot of videos like that and those never caught on too. for some reason you guys hate me playing League of Legends like if I if I play League of Legends at this time I'll get like one viewer if I'm lucky. So I stopped playing League of Legends on stream. <laughs> I play that in my private time. And Valorant is um, a Riot game, so I wasn't sure if Riot, uh, if uh, Valorant would give me the same negative as uh, League of Legends does. Because since I barely get any money doing this anyway, and I am unemployed, I really can't afford to be putting out content that gets me no views, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm still going to do it. Don't get me wrong. This is my hobby. I love doing this. So I'm still going to do things that are detrimental to me making money. But I just prefer to play games and read books that people are going to want. Or else I'm kind of wasting my time, right? I mean, I'm still going to do it anyway, but I'd be wasting my time doing it on stream. Because what's the point of putting out a video if only one person's going to watch it? Now, I'm glad I can give that one person joy. But it would just behoove me and everyone else to put out content that people want. If that makes sense. Uh, Skulldog says, you can tell that you do this just for fun, and I respect that. Thank you, Skulldog. I appreciate it. That Dragon says, fire is great. Oh, Anna Banana versus fire. Anna Banana! Ooh, fire! <laughs> yeah, that was a fun video. Um, that was actually a dangerous video. That's one of the videos that I did not edit for sure, because I got a little bit hurt during it. And you guys can see, it's, it's, it's real. It's not it's CGI. It's not fake. I really got burnt. Um, my eyebrows got singed. My eyelashes got singed. The arms, um, the hair on my arms got like burnt off, and I could smell it for like a, a, a while. So that was that was all real, no fakeness, no script. Nothing I ever do is scripted. Just so you guys know, when you guys see funny stuff happen, you guys are like, oh my gosh, that was great. That's real. That's that's not scripted. That's not edited. It's completely natural. So <laughs> that's one of the fun things about my streams too. Is you guys never know. You never know what's gonna happen. I want the craziness to happen. I like it. Um, let's see. Apparently, you singed his arm here on accident. True. Um, if that's your style, though, Valorant, yeah. Uh, Sign Keeper says, and ripping the $100 bills. Yep. Yep, I did like five or six videos where you just take a $100 bill and rip it. I was not unemployed at that time. And I'm not going to say whether $100 bills are real or fake. You're always going to have to wonder. Um, I've had people, like, study those videos and, just, like, try and look at the dollar bills to see if they look real or fake. It's pretty funny. I like, I like the mystery of you just don't know. Um, Dad Dragon just says, Ew, League of Legends players. Rando says, Got it, that makes sense. Oh, uh, Rando, if you haven't subscribed, buddy, please take a second to subscribe. Um, I always put out content like this, so if you like it, I'm always going to be able to entertain you, and that would be great if I can entertain everybody. Plus, it helps me. Of course, it helps me. I got to go now, but I hope good luck on the trees. Oh, Skull, I'm sorry you have to leave too bad this is the very last starting from scratch episode the very last one so this is the last time you're going to see this farm these trees these crops these plants we're changing it up this is the last time the final episode of starting from scratch um, let's see, Fortnite would probably get you views, but if I call you said it's, it's progress too much, and people are sweaty too high, try hard. Um, Baxi, actually, actually, um, I have downloaded Fortnite. I haven't played it. I haven't even started it, but for a couple seconds, and it's not even a game. It looks like it's an opening, and you're on some island, and there's people to walk around and talk to. Um, it's not even a battle or anything yet. So I have downloaded it. I just haven't played it. I've been thinking about maybe doing some Fortnite content. But again, I, d I just don't know if it'd be any good or if it'd be something to get into or not. Plus, with I've been playing this game so much, and now we have multiplayer coming tomorrow. I just haven't been able to put time into another game yet, you know what I mean? But I do have it downloaded. So if it, if it does become something that I want to try, I have it ready. All I gotta do is double-click it and start. Uh, I used to have four $100 bills, real ones. I bought a base instead and totally worth it. Cyan Cuber, that sounds absolutely worth it. Sounds absolutely 100% worth it. Good call, buddy. Um, you subbed. You love your audiobooks. You're on Magnus Chase. 
Magnus Chase books were so good. We just finished those like a week ago. Man, I love the Magnus Chase books. I've always been into Norse, Norse mythology especially, and just seeing a whole different take on it from Rick's point of view and how good it was done, Magnus Chase is a great series. Good choice on that. I like doing these logs today. Um, I'm getting a good chance to talk to you guys a lot more openly about stuff and just being able to kind of just in the background do all these logs. It's kind of kind of fun. It's kind of fun, not going to lie. It's kind of monotonous kind of work, but I mean, if I'm talking to you guys and you guys are being very um, chatty today, we're able to keep good conversations going. Plus, only two glitches is kind of inspiring. It makes me want to keep going. Uh, Rando, please sub. We're like family. That's uh, That was said by Super Snipes. Uh, Vaxi says that's because that's why the new chapter was a, and was, that was a cut scene. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I didn't even make it through the cut scene then. I just started it and then shut it off because I said I figured if I'm gonna play Fortnite for for you guys to watch, why not start from the very very beginning before I even take one shot, so you guys can see how I progress from my very first time entering the game to wherever we stop. You know what I mean? I think it'd be more novel that way. Uh, if you ever do play Fortnite, I can help you with it. Awesome. Thanks, Vaxi. I appreciate it. Got to take my dogs out quick. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right, buddy. We'll see you when you get back. I want to see how much wood is in that pile, too, and in the in that, um, wood chips are in there. We probably got quite a bit. Why don't you guys take, uh, if you guys want, um, take a guess how many wood chips in there you think are in there. Now, it does it in liters, okay? How many liters of wood chips do you think that we're going to get out of 40 trees? That's a good question. I'll take a guess, too, because I don't know either. Um, my guess would be a big number. I would say, after all these, I'll, I'll let you guys guess first, and I'll tell you my guess. Because that's a lot of wood. All right, bye, guys. I'm taking a break. I need to rest. I need to go to sleep. Hey, base, whatever. Um, just so you know, Sian, we only got about 20 minutes left. 20 minutes left, and the stream's done. I'm trying as hard as I can to get all this wood done before the stream ends. And then I'm going to do something a little bit kind of a surprise for you guys. Nothing crazy, just kind of something nice I think you guys will appreciate. But I got to get all the wood done first. Um, can you sing a song before you end the stream? and say the byword. Um, I'm not really known for my singing. Um, why do you want me to sing? And what do you want me to sing? <laughs> I'm not saying yes. I'm just more curious than anything. Uh, I Actually, I do sing a lot. You guys know, if you guys are any like long-term fan of mine, I do sing a lot when I'm streaming, sometimes more than others. I, I just think it's funny, and I just get into the games, and then I'll just sing. Sometimes I'll make up my own songs. Sometimes I'll change a song. Sometimes I'll just sing a song. <laughs> it's kind of weird, I know, but... I don't know, I do it in the shower, too. So if I do it in the shower, I can do it while I'm streaming. I don't know how that's, um... How that's, um, similar. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Pretty sure I sing almost every stream, to be fair. Something. Rando says 430, 420. Um, I don't know what that means. It's it's eight thirty, eight thirty five. I might watch for now. Yeah, we're almost done. Twenty minutes. That's all we got left. Hello. Oh wait, Michael can sing. Rebel. No, Michael doesn't sing. I don't know what you're talking about. You heard a rumor? Don't listen to rumors. Rumors are fake. They're fake. They're fake. They're fake. Rumors are fake. Don't listen to rumors. <laughs> oh, no, we got another glitch. It's a visual glitch this time. Look at this. Darn, that's three of them. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It means we wasted 
wasted all that wood. That's a bad glitch. Look how far, how far does that go? Look at that. It's all just a visual glitch. I love that this game was released almost two months ago. A full-priced game released almost two months ago. And they still have major visual glitches in it. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Not only that, is if you keep messing with those glitches, like that glitched wood, if I keep trying to mess with it, I keep picking it up, or I keep moving it, or I keep putting it into the grinder, um, the game will mess up and you can't play. You'll have to shut the game off and start the game back up again just to play the game. So that's pretty crazy to me. For a full-priced retail game that's been released months ago to still have those kinds of problems. Those should have been those bugs should have been worked out before the game was released, to be fair. Not two months later still have them. Um, you're the only one talking. And you did tell me you were Michael. True. Super Snipe says to sa to save by to this map, sing a song as we'll be doing a fan stream, just like you did yesterday for me, please. She has a point. I know she has a point. Look at me, I'm Cindy. I come to the stream and I'm so smart. I'm already outsmarting Dom. Well, listen, Cindy, I'll tell you what. Outsmarting me isn't an accomplishment, okay? <laughs> Wait a second. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right, let's get this in there. Faxi says, I is back. What have I missed? Faxi, you missed a whole bunch of trees getting ground up. That's what you missed. A whole bunch of trees going into the grinder. So you didn't miss much, buddy. You didn't miss much. Yeah, I'm going to miss this farm, too. Um, we've been playing this farm a long time. We put a lot of hours into it daily. I am honestly going to miss this farm a little bit. But also, um, there's a lot of stuff I could have done different, a lot of stuff I could have done better. So I will miss this farm as you know, the nostalgia of this being our first farm. But I look forward to the experience that we're going to have doing a new farm with new knowledge and a new place and new shenanigans. Uh, Vexy says, riveting. <laughs> Rebel says, thanks, Michael. <laughs> Rebel, I'm glad you joined today. I'm glad you're in the Discord, too. You seem like a good addition to our channel, and I appreciate you being in our community. Thank you very much for being a part of it. Hopefully you stay, and hopefully you become one of our daily community members, because that's pretty cool. Also, Super Snipe, same to you, buddy. You've been here for a lot of streams. And you joined Discord yesterday, and you have definitely contributed and been a part of this community, and I definitely want to thank you also. What session am I on? Or what season? I don't know what you mean by season. Game season, it's winter. Is that what you mean? I think this is our third winter. If you're asking how many seasons or how many years, game years. But they're quick because the, the more I was playing this map, the more I was kind of getting done with it and ready to move on to new stuff. And we went from doing uh, 12 months with uh, 28 days each to 12 months with 15 days each. Now we're on 12 months with only 5 days each. And it just, we only really play one of those days and then we fast forward to the next month. So that's a good clue that it's time to move on to something new. Oh, you're talking about Cindy? My bad, I thought you were talking to me. Why would I think that? Why would I think you're talking to me? I mean... <laughs> we're almost done, guys. Just a couple more to go. Oop. We're almost finished. We will be able to do this before time runs out. Let's go. Oh, what happened there? Oh, no. Looks like more glitching. Maybe. We missed one, that's all. Not glitching. That's fine, that's fine. We didn't miss. So you guys, how much do you think that, uh... How many wood chips do you guys think we made out of all this? I'll give you guys my my um, my guess in a minute so you'll have a ballpark. Because I, I, I'm pretty good at guessing some. Because I've already done one load of this last um, game year. But uh, my guess right now... I would guess probably one million... 1,600,000 liters. That's my guess.
One million six hundred thousand liters is my guess. So you guys, what are your guesses? What do you guys think? And once we get these last few logs in there, we'll check. We'll check the wood pile and see how much is in there. Uh, you said you're on season four. Ooh. Oh, because you're talking about the Flash. You're on season four of the Flash. Nice. Very nice. That's a good show. My favorite thing about watching shows like The Flash and watching The Arrow and all those other CW is because they uh, they cross each other. I think it's the best when you see somebody in uh, doing that. Like the, the the Arrow will go visit The Flash or The Flash will go visit The Arrow. I mean, stuff like that's really cool. Did we get that? Oops, I missed just a little bit. I'm missing a tree, you guys. Did you see I was running over here? Not this tree, but the last tree, and I dropped it. I don't see where it went. Like, how are we missing a great big log? Where did it go? It's not these over here. These are my three glitches. It's just go. Is this glitch shrinking? No. Like, where did it go? Honestly, I mean, where would a giant... Is not up in the air? It's not on the ground. Where'd that giant log go? <laughs> That's why I keep going around like this and looking around. Because, I, I mean, I know I dropped it because I didn't put it in there. I dropped it, like, right here. It just disappeared. That's weird. That's weird. Frosty, you got to go to bed. Frosty, we only got 10 minutes left, Frosty. 10 more minutes. Vaxi says 2 mil. That's a good guess. Rando says nice. The crossover episodes are the best. I agree. Absolutely. Um, Rebel says Firo. And she said she thinks it's bad. And that's what made me sad because I'm a Flash girl. Well, no. Um, it's not bad. It's not high quality, but it's not supposed to be. So be a Flash girl. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Um, Fiero's more of a Supergirl fan anyway. A Supergirl and Spider-Man. So everybody has their favorites. You probably don't like Supergirl and Spider-Man as much as you like... As much as she likes them. So it doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means you have different tastes. Uh, me? I'm not a Flash girl. I mean, I like the Flash. It's alright. But I'm not a Flash girl. Um, uh, I'm more into... I want to say Harley Quinn. I would say I'm more of a Harley Quinn girl. Uh, Super says, no thanks needed. I just want to thank you for bullying me, and I'm enjoying the diversity of your channel, and my guess is 69 liters. Well, I'm going to be fair, and I'm going to be completely honest. Okay? If you think your guess of 69... <laughs> 69? If you think your guess of 69 is anywhere close to 1.6 million, or 2 million, you need some really, really thick glasses. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 69 is nowhere even in the ballpark of 1.6 million. 69 is not even in the ballpark of 169. Um, I would say if you have an optometrist, um, next time you see them, walk into his office. Don't say a word. Just walk up to him. Smile and just kick him right in the nuts. Just, just right to haul off and just kick him right in the nuts as hard as you can. Because there, there's, there's no way at all that optometrist is treating you seriously if the glasses you're wearing in any way make you believe that 69 is even close to 1 million. Just, just so you know. <laughs> oh, you like Harley Quinn? Yeah, nice. Um, I think The Flash is best. I would recommend watching. Super Snipes says I've watched The Flash 16 times. Uh, Re Rebel says, she said I totally don't recommend watching The Flash. Oof. Uh, Rando says, I hate the last season. Rebel says, also, I like Harley Quinn and a literal queen. True. <laughs> Vaxi says, harsh. <laughs> Listen, I'm not blaming. <laughs> I'm not blaming Super Snipes for having the worst vision in the world. I'm blaming his optometrist for allowing him to have the worst vision in the world. Like, I'm not saying you're blind, okay? I'm not. Okay? I'm just saying that when you... If, if you woke up today, like, or tomorrow, let's say you go to bed, okay? You go to bed. You wake up and you're blind. And then you have someone assist you to wrap a blindfold around your head. Okay? To put blinders on your face so if you still can't see. To put a hood over your head so you can still breathe. To then go to the store, buy a bag of cement, come home, put the cement in a bucket, put water in the bucket, mix up the cements, put your head in the cements, with a tube so you can breathe, pull the cement out of the tube or out of the, out of the thing so you have the cement on your head. 
the tube so you can breathe because I don't want you to get hurt. And then they drove you to the middle of the woods in the middle of the night, complete darkness, kicked you and dropped you into a well. Okay? And then took a blind kid that's been blind his entire life and don't know what it's like to see to that well and showed him to you, that blind kid would be like, oh man, that guy has really bad vision. That, that's just, that, that, that's how bad your vision is. <laughs> the blind kid would be like, wow, it sucks how bad his vision is. <laughs> okay, um, Super Snipe says, yes you are. Frost says, I'm going to try and figure out how to donate. Just one second. Frost, you don't got to donate. Just be a part of the stream, my friend. Um, some people have joined, like Cyan Cuber joins, and he does that because he's awesome, but he also gets privileges in-game, like first choice on when I do in-game stuff, like license plates and stuff. But you, you definitely don't have to, Frosty. Just be a part of the stream, that's all I ask. Be here for my streams. Watch my videos. Vaxi says, going in full detail, nice. Super Snipe says, does not need glasses. Hey, I keep hearing my name, what do you want, Dom? <laughs> Super Snipes. Because they think he has terrible driving, but the joke is he's good driving. Yeah, see, Cyan knows, you guys. You need to listen to Cyan Cuber more. Cyan Cuber knows what's up. Oh, thanks, Cyan Cuber. Randall says, damn, you just roasted that man so hard. <laughs> Frosty says, no, I got excess money, so yeah. I do not have to use any of it, so I'll give it to you. That's really nice, Frosty, and I appreciate it, but believe me. Believe me, I'm perfectly fine you not donating. If you want to like take that money and buy yourself something nice. If you do want to donate, cool, thank you. I will use the money for games and I will use the money for books. But I just say one thing and I really want you to be serious about this, okay? Do not donate large amounts, okay? If you donate a large amount of money, I will just re refund your dis your uh, donation, okay? I don't want to have to do that. Um, I don't want you to be embarrassed. Some people get embarrassed by that. But please do not do not donate large amounts. All right, so let's go ahead and um, all, the, all this is done. All the trees are done. We did a good job. It feels good. Here's our double stump. Now I'm going to do something special for you guys just because um, I wouldn't really do it if I was really building this farm, but I'm going to do it anyway because I feel like I, you guys deserve it. Um, Frush says, yeah, donate like 20. Um, if you want to donate 20, 20 is fine. I appreciate it. Um, you don't have to. If I can give you some alternatives... Alternatives would be to join the stream, because if you just join, your name will change colors, and every time you chat, everybody will see it, and you'll stand out. You'll also get in-game privileges, like when I do license plates, you'll get first choice on being on a license plate, plus a million other in-game stuff that I do. So if, if I can just give you options, um, if you want to just donate $20, there's a donate button, just donate the $20, um, but it would, it'll benefit you more if you uh, could you actually get some game game stuff out of it, you know what I mean. But I mean, do what you want. It's your money. Um, I will thank you for it, but it's not necessary. Please believe it's not necessary at all. I've got some people in here that have been friends and followers for years and never donated a penny, and I'm just completely, extremely happy that they follow me and have been with me for years. I saw this light red, so this is supposed to hit. Not going to though. Anyways, so let's go ahead and turn all this stuff back in. So that way we're not renting it, even though it doesn't matter. It served us well. It did a really good job. Great equipment. All right, and now we know how well it works. So let's turn this one back in. And then we'll turn this one back in. That was really fun to use, by the way, guys. Really fun using this forestry equipment. All right, so the guesses were 1.6. I saw another 2 million. Uh, Super Snipe says he always picks on me. You deserve it. You pick on me. Don't want none, don't start none. I get it. Rebel says, okay, I think Michael has good driving. Woo, look at Rebel. Rebel's smart. Rebel, I like you already. Welcome to the stream, Rebel. You belong. Okay, wood chips. Oh, I was nowhere near. We have 2,000 or 290,000. I thought it had been like a million seven hundred thousand, but we only have 290,000. I was off by a lot. I think the reason being is because before we were doing the stone pines, and 40 stone pines did 2.6 million. So I, these, I got to remember these trees are much, much smaller. And they're much thinner. So we didn't get that much wood chips. So wood chips are not worth it if you're doing small trees. Good to know. Good to know. Let's buy, just, just, just for giggles, take um, one of these, um, 
one of these uh, glitch trees and go sell it and see how much that would give us. It's just 10 meters of wood, so let's see what, or 6 meters of wood. Let's see what 6 meters would give us. Uh, our last tour of the farm? Yeah, I'll give you guys the last tour, absolutely. And I'm going to make an addition for you guys also. I'm going to add something before we go. Um, Rando says you deserve it. Thank you, Rando. Super Snipes does deserve it. Super Snipes says, no, I don't, Rando. I'm innocent, I promise. No, not innocent. Not it. False. False. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Not innocent. Don't fall for that. Not innocent. He tried to make yesterday pick on Dom Day. Not innocent. Shenanigans. Okay, this keeps dropping when I try and go over there, so the glitch is getting worse. It's hitting something. Oh, it's hitting the edge of the screen. My bad. So it's not the glitch, it's hitting the edge of the screen right there. I, I keep on say ink O oh, before sentence, I don't know why. I don't know, maybe you got a fetish or a thing for ink. Maybe ink is what does it for you. It makes you like laugh and giggle for no reason. It's your it's your happy word. Uh, no, I don't random innocent. I was far off. I was, uh, yeah, I was really far off too. Way far off. Not even close. Uh, super snipes, I was closer. Uh, no tens it was. Alright, let's see how much this sells for. Just kind of curious. That sold for $1,200. That's good money. Holy crap, that's good money. So, honestly, if we're going to do trees again, we're not going to wood chip it. We're not going to wood chip it. Um, wood sells in January anyway, right? Oh, yeah, wood sells in January. So let's see something here. Where's my wood chip tab? Let's let's take a load of wood chips to the Germans and see how much the wo the Germans pay for the wood. I'm kind of curious about that. So that would be one third of a tree. So that means the tree should have paid about three thousand dollars. Okay. So three thousand times forty, right? Three thousand. Alexa, what's three thousand times forty? One hundred twenty. Okay. So so let's just say we did f um, the whole tree. Selling to the to the um to the carpentry place, we would have made a hundred twenty thousand dollars. Now we're gonna take all the wood chips and sell it to the Germans and see how much the Germans and see if that money is more and see which one we should have been doing. Um, Vaxi says, "Would you want me to pick? Why would you want to pick on me, Dom? Rude, Vaxi! Everyone on this channel, all of you know, you get what you deserve. All of you do." Okay. <laughs> let's let this out for a minute. Actually, let's go ahead. And bring, we'll just bring it since we got to bring the trailer down anyway. This will pull the trailer. Yeah, let's just bring this down. Um, Rebel says, "I think saying oh before a sentence is my intro sentence." I know a lot of people that do that, Rebel. And there's a lot of people that say, so, like my buddy um, Storm, he says that every time he talks. He's like, so, like he's saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go read the paper. He's like, so, I'm going to read the paper. Or, so, I was thinking. Or, so, today's a nice day. It just, it's just how he talks. He always says so every time. So, you saying, oh, isn't that unusual at all. Okay, let's load this up. Let's see how much money we make. Hopefully we make it in the ballpark of $120,000. Oh, that might be too much for the trailer to hold. Oh my. Okay, that's more than one trailer. Now, I do remember when we were selling last time, each trailer was getting me $12,000. Right? How much is left in there? Oh, that took almost nothing. It's still got 230 in there, so we're not going to run all those. Let's just see... I mean, I kind of want to, but I don't got time for that. I got, The stream's over. This is the end of the stream. It's supposed to end in five minutes. So we don't got time for that. Let's just take this one load down there. And plus, like I said, I want to do something for you guys before we shut off the stream. So don't go anywhere. Wait till the last couple minutes of the stream. We're going to do something. Storm, Viewer Lod? Yes. Yeah, that's Storm. Viewer Lod and Storm, it's the same person. That's interesting that you remembered that. Good memory, brother. Good memory.
You know you're a true fan when you watch enough streams that you catch information like that and remember it. How much is this? 52,000. Alexa, what's 260,000 divided by 52,000? 260,000 divided by 52,000 is 5. So this this says I would say six because we we overestimated, so we'll do six times whatever is in this right now, and that'll tell us if we're gonna get a close to one hundred twenty thousand, because that according to Alexa, the six loads is all it would take to empty up that wood pile. I don't think that's not that doesn't sound right, but we'll see. All right, let's see. Our our load of wood chips that we just worked on they're still hot from the press. So we'll multiply this number by 6 and see if we get anywhere near 120,000. I don't think we will. Alexa, what's 26 times 6? Wow. 26 times 6 is 156. Wow! 156,000! So doing wood chips is more profitable than the wood. The wood would give us about 150,000. Holy cow! So yeah, wood chips is the way to go. That's proof right there. Wood chips is the way to go. By like 25,000. So yeah. Okay. Good to know. So if we do wood again, we're definitely going to keep doing wood chips. Wow. Great information. Good to know. Good to know. Um, let's see. Uh, Vaxi says, me and Dom, not me, Dom. Super Snipes says, yesterday I was national pick on Dom Day. You know, it was not Super Snipes. There is no national pick on Dom Day. Rebel says, I don't want to pick on people. I'm just trying to get to know people. Oh, Rebel Sweet, look at that. Uh, Super Knight says, that is magic sawdust spot. Yeah, it is, it sure is. The Germans take it. Vex says, I remember him from the time the three of us were in a voice chat together. Oh, okay, okay. That was a while ago, though. So, yeah, like I said, good memory. All right, so let's go ahead, and we're going to do one last thing. This is the end of the stream, guys. This is going to be my outro. Um, I will say to you guys, I had a great time with you. Thank you very much for the stream. Thank you very much for the good times together. It was a lot of fun. Um, this has been a good time. I really honestly hope you guys feel the same way, and I hope you guys will stick around for more streams. We're going to be doing, um, see I say um a lot, it, we're going to be doing a, a multiplayer tomorrow, so please don't go anywhere. Um, come back, we're going to be doing streams all day. All day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something really fast for you guys, because I did make a promise I do intend to keep. It's going to construction, landscaping, level the landscape. And then let's do this, bigger. We're going to make all the land the same size for this. Because this is what I would do if we're going to keep playing. So let's just do it. Because this field was only as a temporary field for me to get ready for what I was going to do next. Keeping my promise, guys. Look at this. Domination promise keeper. Boom. Booyah. I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to do, but I'm still going to do it. And it definitely want, needs to be done on level grand ground. Why did that road... Where did the road pop up from? That wasn't there. Where did that road come from? I mean, sir, wait. Where did this come from? There was no road here. I just popped up the land. Why did a road pop up? That's weird. That's real weird. Right? Isn't it? Because the road was only across here. Why? Is, where did the road come from? Whoa, that's weird. That's weird. Um... Super Snipe says, I am, yes. You are cool. Yes, you are, buddy. Sign Keeper says, I'm too cool to pick on people. I support Michael. Thank you, Sign. You're awesome. Vex says, I'm too good to pick on myself. Super Snipe says, it's good to pick on Dom, though. Wait a second. Why is it good to pick on Dom? Wait, how do we get back on this again? How do we get, wait, why is picking, Dom a picking on Dom a thing? Hold on now. I'm doing stuff for you guys. I'm, I'm keeping promises to you guys. And, and picking on me is a thing? Hold on now. Wait, why, why? So this would have to go like this. It's hard to see because of the snow. 
Boom. Boom. There you go, guys. I promised you guys a, a cow barn. And I, I am delivering a cow barn. We're also going to go look at it, look around it, see what it looks like, see what it's all about. But before that, we got to do something else. Always build on level land in this game. If not, it'll do this. It'll make a big dip. That dip is where I made it. I made I chose to have that dip there by making the ground level up here. So always make the ground level or so you'll have a very, very hard time in this game. Which Dom? Dom or Vax Dom? Um, when they say Dom, they're probably talking about me because Vax Dom is a new name in the chat. I mean, it's still Vax Dom, but they just made their name Vax Dom like yesterday. So they're probably referring to me, which is fine. Either way. Here we go, guys. We got a we got a cow barn, and look, <gasps> one cow. We got one little cow. How you doing, little guy? How you little cow? It's just a baby. It's a little baby cow. It is. It's it's a newborn. Just oh, it's taking its first steps. We got. We'll move to you too. Look, it's got little horns. It's a little baby. Ah, it's a little guy. I bought a baby cow on purpose because I wanted a little baby cow. Oh, I like it too. Isn't it cute? Isn't it a little cute little baby milk cow? Oh, let's get you a bigger one so we guys can see the size difference. Because I don't know. I've never had a cow before, so this is my first time. That's down here. Let's put a big one in. See what the difference is. See what the, what the bigger cow looks like. Well, hello there. Oh, it's not much bigger. It's not much bigger. I mean, a little bit bigger, but not much. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take one last look around the farm. Take one last look. Let's take a look at our sheep. Bye, guys. Bye, sheepy sheeps. Bye, sheeps. All of our wool. Let's go back up here. Take a look at our silos. Look up here at our little garage, our overhang, with our grape equipment, all of our grape juice, all of our raisins, all the wool. Our big awesome garage, our equipment. Say goodbye to all of it. It's all going away. All the crops that we never sold, all the all the cotton we never sold. It's our little shop, our real fast little old-fashioned car that we're probably gonna have in the uh, retro gameplay because that's a retro car from 1920 or 1940. So we'll we'll probably be seeing that again, but probably not green. Oh, I got a good way to end the stream too. Hold on, I got a real good way to end the stream. I just thought of it. Goodbye to all of our honey. Goodbye to the very first things we did in the game, which were the greenhouses. Bye, greenhouses. You've given me so many prop crops. You made me so much money. Thank you. Bye to our tree field and our little truck, our cell phone tower. Bye to our chickens who made us lots and lots and lots of eggs. Bye, chickens. You did so good. Thank you, chickens. Thank you. And then the thing that we got before the chickens, so the very first major purchase that we bought for our farm, buy to the milk truck down there, buy to the grape fields, the bees. Bye, bees. First to come, last to go. You're sleeping because it's winter. First to come, last to go. Bye, bees. Bye, bees. So let's sleep until it's nighttime so I can say goodbye properly. Oh, we can't. I think 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock might be nighttime. Okay, so let's sleep until nighttime. So this is going to be the end of the stream, guys. Thank you for watching. I had a good time. I hope you guys did, too. This is Domination Reading Channel. Um, this is a very fun stream. It was starting from scratch. We actually started with no 
no machinery, no land, and the only money we had was the money that you start with. Let's say goodbye to where our house was. Remember we had the house up here for the long time. Say goodbye to our Christmas tree. And then last but not least, Last but not least. Where are you at, puppers? Say goodbye to Miss O'Leary. It's Miss O'Leary's doghouse with a full bowl of bag of or bowl of food. This was a fun run, guys. I had a really good time. I hope you guys did too. And you guys can always go back and watch it again later if you want. I mean they're all saved. Um, when we come back we're gonna be doing multiplayer. After multiplayer, we're going to start a new farm on a new map playing vintage mode. So, oh, let's say goodbye to Santa Claus. Other than that, oh, say goodbye to the little takes car. That'll be in the new playthrough, too. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Domination Reading Channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a second to subscribe. If you have not joined the Discord, the information down below, join the Discord. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Tee hee. Lights go out. And we'll shut the door on this chapter forever. Bye, guys. See you soon. Tee hee.